Hey guys, welcome to Wholesale Hotline. This is the warm up show where we show you guys how to really run this business. Today we've got Igor, Igor Dragunov from GoKnock, which is a new application for every type of real estate investor, whether you're brand new and you don't know anything about anything, all the way up to a very seasoned vet. In fact, I'm in Las Vegas today showing Casey Ryan and a handful of other top-notch wholesalers how to utilize this app in Vegas. It works all over the country. And Evo Dragunov is going to show us and give us a demo all about virtually driving for dollars. So if you're in a COVID world, which we are right now, if you're in a global pandemic, how do I still get deals done? How do I go find motivated sellers without having to go out and about? How do I get an app that gives me the hottest leads without me having to go pull the list and go to list source and do all this stuff? How do I have an all inclusive app? That's what we're going to be doing today. So Evo Dragunov is going to be giving us a demo and accompanied by Evo Dragunov is Landry Morby. So Landry Morby is an employee of GoNock and she's going to be answering any questions you guys have. So please, guys, answer, ask questions, give these guys a little bit of love. And finally, we have Tino Luna. And if you have a question about whether he lifted weights this morning or not, the answer is yes, he did. Okay. <laughs> You know, show us some freaking guns, bro. Did you prove to us that you lifted today? Bro, I lifted chest today, but boom! <laughs> That's all you got? Come on, dog. People, we want to know if you're a closer. Are you a closer or what? Um, come on, bro. Come on. So, why, Tino, tell me why are you on the show today? Why are you here? So, um, once we find a few motivated sellers on GoNap, um, I'm actually gonna call them live for you guys and see if we can get some appointments or lock up some deals. Love it. So Evo is going to run the demo. Landry is going to help answer some questions wherever she can. And Tino is going to actually call sellers where we find some motivated sellers. So guys, please ask questions. What I would do is, um, guys, go to goknock.com. And Evo, from what I understand, there's a 14-day free trial that's available right now. It is. You can use all the features for 14 days. Um Absolutely free. Love it. So let's talk about some of those features. I know today we're going to specialize on virtually driving for dollars, but if you could name the top five things I could do in GoNoc, what, what would those be? There's a lot more than five features, but the top features probably I'd say, look, you can obviously, you know, face we've talked about, like you can, you can find foreclosures, you can find vacant properties. Um, we are going to be adding a lot more different like lists uh, and list types in there. You can click on any single property, which I'm going to do like shortly. You can click on a property. You can get the homeowner's information. You can, with a button, click skip trace that owner, find the phone numbers, and click another button, and you can generate a mail campaign, a direct mail campaign, or you can add them to an SMS uh, drip campaign. Love so, it. so here's here's the thing, guys. I look at GoNock, and I tell people this is like Pokemon Go for wholesaling real estate and real estate investing. It's like a game. It shows you where all the hottest deals are. It shows you where the hottest pain points are. You can text these people. You can direct mail these people. You can call them right now. You can literally be sitting in your living room watching Netflix, reaching out to sellers all from one single app. I don't need a Podio. I don't need a prop stream. I don't need anything other than this one app to get started in real estate and also to build and scale a business in real estate investing. So this is a super, super cool thing. Um, let's let's ask some let's answer some questions before we jump into the um, into the demo because there's a guy named Sergio that literally asks, asks a question every time we have a live going on. Sergio um, should win an award for the most questions <laughs> asked, which I super appreciate. Sergio asked, "Will the auction date be added?" Evo, what do you got to say about? That? Yep, it's going to be added to. We'll add the auction date of the, the property. Love it. Sergio also asks, is Evo the badass investor from Arizona you mentioned in Real Estate Disruptors? Yes, he is. He is an absolute beast. So when I first went in Real Estate Disruptors about a year ago, I talked about how I was constantly going up against Evo and his team, of whole, his wholesale acquisition guys. And um, we ultimately, it's really funny. I never even like really thought about this. It was really funny. I just admired Evo. 
from afar a year and a half ago. And now I'm lucky enough to be his partner in multiple businesses. So Evo, we love you. We appreciate you. And I can't wait to get into this. So, let me jump into this question. There's a question here called, it says, how is this different from Deal Machine? So Deal Machine is cool. Deal Machine basically is driving for dollars. Go Knock is targeting for dollars at a, as, at a point where you're very efficient with your time. So for me, I don't want to aimlessly drive around town and hope that I run into a distressed property. What I want to do with, is within a couple of seconds know where all the distressed properties are, vacant, foreclosure, tax delinquent, and um, absentee owner. I want to know all four of those lists and where they all exist right now in my market. And I want to be able to create a route, which Evo will do. Evo, can you make a route for us sometime today? Sure. Love it. Absolutely. So you're going to create a route that I could go drive. I could go leave notes. I could go door knock if I wanted to. And then in between that route, I could then drive for dollars as an additional benefit to my already existing route. So I call it targeting for dollars where I actually have a predetermined route instead of me just aimlessly driving for dollars. And what's freaking cool about it is last week Landry and Evo did a, um, they did a video all about, hey guys, watch how fast I can get in touch with a motivated seller. Whereas Deal Machine is you go drive for dollars, you play things in your app, you then export it, you skip it, and then you start texting it. It's a multiple step process. Go knock condensed all those actions into one app and within seconds you can talk to the seller. So that's why Tino's on here today. Tino is on here because he's going to call sellers that Landry and Evo find during the demo of the Go Knock app. Okay. So guys go to gonock.com. There's a 14 day free trial where you can get all the features of the app in the first 14 days. You can see everything this app does. Um, so Facebook users, says, will this be mainly for metros and larger cities everywhere? I'm in a sub $125,000 market or 125,000 person market. Eva, what do you have to say to that? Um, it's where we cover 99% of the country. So we have about 154 and, and, change, and some change million properties in the database. The only place, going, this is what I understand. So guys, I'm traveling the country right now to show people how to utilize this app in person. I have, if you guys go to my Instagram at Pace Morby, you'll see the route that I'm creating 55 cities in 60 days. I am physically going to show people it works in every single type of city, except the types of cities where there's more moose than human beings. Those are the only cities that this app does not work. Okay. Now, um, one thing I love. So Richard Harris says, what's the price after a 14 day free trial is over? So you have multiple options, but for somebody that's just starting out, it's $49. Dude, check this out. $49, I get the foreclosure list. I get the, pre, I get the vacant list. I get the absentee owner, and I get the tax delinquent list for a $49 subscription. Mm -hmm. And if I want to start adding features and adding more things on top of it, I can add members, but it's like $15 a member. Is that what it is, Evo? Yeah, so depending on the plan, you know, I, uh, first plan, you're limited to one member. Our performance plan, which is the second plan, is two members. And then uh, our performance plus is five members. And then you can obviously add additional members. We have a couple of people that have reached out to us that want to add uh, upwards of 30 individuals. So it's all it's possible. Guys, so this is what I love about the Go Knock app. It eliminates every single excuse in the book. It gives you, it gives you the motivated sellers. And Evo is going to do an entire run through of this app and he, they're going to answer questions for you. I'm just so passionate about it. I literally drove up to Vegas today. Number one, to close escrow on a subject two transaction. And number two, I wanted to show people in my mentorship how to use this app because it's the fastest way to talk to motivated sellers. You don't have to have any guesswork. You don't have to go to thesource.com. You don't have to go to your title company. You don't have to ask anybody where to find leads. This shit already has the leads in the app. WTF, people. Bro. You can sit in your underwear. In fact, guys, I'm in my underwear right now talking about <laughs> you can You can do this anywhere. In COVID, non-COVID, it is unbelievable, guys. I'm telling you, it eliminates every excuse. Look at the, look at the, the screen right now. Look at all those little emblems. 
This is why I call it Pokemon Go for real estate investing. It shows you where everything is and it gives you all the information. So Evo's going to break this down for you guys. Um, no, Sergio. Sergio, come on, bro. Sergio says, I thought $49 was only the pre-foreclosure list. No. Evo, what, is, what do you get for the $49? Um, I have to look at the pricing, but it does include way more than the actual foreclosure. So um, Sergio, I can uh, certainly you know, I, I can. In developing this, but it is way more, way, way, way more than just the foreclosure list. Okay. Um, by the way, yep. if I had to pay for just the foreclosure list, if I went down and like manually pulled the foreclosure list, how much would I pay in just my own market? Hundreds. Uh, a couple hundred, yeah, at least 150 bucks. Okay, so we're we're taking that. And what's cool about this is if I'm in New Jersey, I can virtually drive for dollars and I can use this app nation freaking wide. It doesn't limit myself just to my market. I can go anywhere and use this market virtually, right? Correct. Holy guys, why there's 180 people watching between YouTube and Facebook right now. Why have you guys not signed up for Go Knock? free trial. It is insane. Where can I find the pre foreclosure list? Where can I find the tax delinquent list? Where can I find the absentee owner list? Where can I find the uh, vacant property list for $49 all included? No, no. <laughs> Everybody take your pants off and you can do, you can follow in your underwear. That's how easy this is. Okay. Don't take your pants off. That was a joke. <laughs> somebody's going to take, somebody's going to take that sound bite only and be like, yo, Pace tells people to take their pants off. Um, okay, so a couple of other questions. Um, okay, so hi guys, I presently I presently presently have used Batskip Tracing. How will this combine with my Batskip Tracing account? It, it'll combine. We'll, we'll, we'll make sure that uh, the, the two talk to each other. But like, you can actually uh, from the the actual Batskip Tracing or the Bat Batch leads. I'm not sure which they're referring to. But we'll make some automations as well. Uh, but again, um, you can perform all the skip tracing just like in batch skip tracing. You know, you can just do, and I'll, and I'll walk you through it, guys. You can do a single property or you can do multiple properties. You can do, you know, one or a hundred properties or a thousand if you wanted to. It's the hey exact guys, same skip. I've got, I've got 180 people watching right now. What I want is I want to see everybody throw up a peace sign emoji if they want me to shut up and let Evo do his job and give us a demo, okay? If I get at least 20 of those peace signs, I, I will shut up, I will take myself off this video and I will let Evo run this demo and Landry will ask questions and Tino will call sellers for you guys. But I wanna see enough peace signs that it justifies me to shut up, okay? Um, and Charles, to share. can I upload the property that creates an efficient route? Absolutely, Charles. We already have been uploading our probate list. We've been uploading um, high equity list. We've been doing all sorts of cool stuff. In there. Okay. Um, PropStream versus this app. What makes this app different? Minerva. Price alone makes this app different. It's half the price of PropStream. Half. Do you want me to keep talking about the other 50 di differences? I won't. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm, that that'll be one different. That's all you need. Price alone is half the price of property. Okay. Is the skip tracing and SMS cost the same in batch and go knock? My understanding is that answer is yes. No. No, it's not. It's not. It's different. And again, it depends on the actual plan that you're on on go knock. So the pricing will differ uh, based on you know if you're on the base or the performance or the performance plus. Cool. So guys. We got enough peace signs. I've, I count about 40 between um, YouTube and Facebook. So I'm going to jump in and let Tino, Landry, and Evo run this um, deal, and I'm going to peace out. Landry, you need to watch the comments on the side here and answer any questions. And when you answer the question, you need to rehearse the question before you answer it. Got it. Got it. Okay. And Evo, when you that. find a hot, hot property, you need to tell Tino, hey, Tino, do you want to call the seller and then let T Tino do his job? Let's go. Yep. I'm getting out. Let's go. Hmm? If we buy a property, if we can split it, potentially. We'll see. Um, so, okay, guys. So, so, obviously, this is the app I just logged in here. Um, this is one of our test accounts that I'm using, uh, and I'm just going to walk you through a very simple search. So I'm just going to type in obviously zip code here. 
I'm going to uh, do a single family residence. I can do owner type. I'll just leave it as any. So you can do uh, owner occupied or non owner occupied. You can do it year built between uh, in 1925, let's say, or like, let's say 19, 1947. Um, I want you know 50% equity or 49% equity, let's say, and I want vacant properties, right? So I can all, I can just type in my zip code here, and I'll perform a search. What this will do is find every single vacant property in this uh, zip code, and the vacants are the most accurate vacants you, you you'll find anywhere. So this is directly through the USPS, the United States Postal Service. They are the only database nationwide that keeps track of uh, vacant US uh, vacant properties. So we, we get the date on the first, we update it uh, on the first midnight, uh, between the first and sometimes the third, uh, you have fresh, newly vacant properties. So as you can see here, there is 19 properties, I'll just hide this one. I can continue and I can add these property to one of my folders here. I'll just say, hey, I'm, I wanna create a new folder. I'll just do vacants, uh, I forgot with the zip code 85306. And I'm just gonna add those properties to my folder. Uh, so this just helps me kind of stay, stay organized and things like that. So uh, out of those vacant properties, now I can go in here and let's say I want to be able to see all of these. So these are the deals here, folder type, I'll do the vacants, the property that I just uh, looked look through. So now these are all the properties that we identified as vacants, correct? And if I click on any one of these properties, you guys can see here, um, my plan actually doesn't have potentially the Google Street View here, which I can add easily. Okay, it does. So you guys can see this property. I mean, it, it already looks vacant. So this is a vacant property. I have all the information that I, that I need to make a decision if I want to pursue this property. I can see the estimated equity. I can see the estimated, obviously, this is a value, a confidence score as far as the actual value. Uh, the current loan to value. Uh, it's 47%. Estimated equity is $110,000. It's a single family. The owner has lived there for 14 years, seven months. Uh, owner occupied. It is not an owner occupied property because I, I think the owner lives uh, in this address here in Encino, California. And I can easily click skip trace and boom, I have the phone numbers. Awesome. Super quick. I mean, it just took me. I mean, by the time I like, I talked, it Hold took on. me. Could have taken less than fifty. It was literally that easy. <laughs> that easy. Okay, I'm gonna jump in here and a answer a couple of questions. Okay, is uh, Ronald Borrera says is forty nine dollars the max price? If you're an individual and all you're trying to do is do individual door knocking, individual uh, text campaigns, individual calling. You're just a one man band. Forty nine dollars is your package. OK, but if you want to develop a team and you want some extra uh, bonus features and different types of lists, then for sure you can go up to uh, a higher package. But for me, if I'm a solopreneur and I'm just getting started out, forty nine dollars is where I want to be. Some people are asking, does Gonok have comparables? Yes, guys, you can. It has, it, it's linked to Zillow and it's going to be linked to other things in the future. Today is actually the first day Go Knock is available. So what I would do, we have about 210 people, 210 people currently watching this between Facebook and YouTube. Guys, go to GoKnock.com and go download the 14-day free trial and tr check this out. What you should be doing is we've got about 35 minutes that Evo, Landry, and Tino are going to be working on this demo Go follow along. Go download it. It takes a couple of minutes. GoKnock.com, 14-day free trial, and then um, follow along with Evo so you guys understand the mechanics and understand how to get this done, okay? Thank you. Curtis Eaton says, done. He oh. sees you in this in, in this app. So thank you, brother. I appreciate you so much. By the um, way, guys, about your if you're signing up, do it on the desktop version. That's the easiest way. And then when you go to verify your email, make sure you're manually searching for GoNock in your email inbox search bar. A lot of people are having that verification email, so I want you guys to all get set up on there easily and smoothly. Guys, awesome. go to GoNock.com and check that out. Sorry, Evo, I just was like, dude, it was literally yeah, that. I couldn't believe it. 
You're good. So obviously, over you guys can see over here. So, uh, uh, you know, do, do you want to call this property or Let's what do you do? So obviously, uh, we have three phone numbers. Two of those are cell phones. One of them is a landline. Okay. Um, and you know, we, you can call the first two phone numbers, and one of them should be accurate. Okay. Uh, let's see. Is it three one zero seven five three eighty seven hundred? It's uh three one zero seven five three six seven zero zero. Thank you. It's kind of hard to see on my end. So Landry, what's the guy's name? Um, it's Yosef. Yosef. Hello. Hey Yosef, this is Tino. How's it going? Hello. My name is Tino. I was actually just driving by your property reaching out to see if you might be interested in a cash offer. That was a hard no, guys. It's a hard no. It's okay. Hey, Landry. So, I know, um, Landry, I know you're not a salesperson, but I want we're you gonna, to call We're going to call him back, guys. We're going to call him back. Okay. He hung up on me. I'm looking for some houses actually that are, uh, I mean, all of these are vacant properties according to the USPS. Um, you can see this guy here, he has a, actually has a PO box. Uh, let me see, let's see what else we can, maybe this guys, property. So while you're doing that, give me just a second because Landry's not, I, Landry, you gotta pay attention to the comments. You got people popping up. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. She, Jan Janet Ham says, I downloaded the app, but I cannot set up the login. How, how do you suggest she fixes that? Who should she reach out to? Who, wh what email? How should she ch chat with somebody? Janet, you can go on. There should be like a little, do you see over on Evo's screen, there's like a chat bubble that should be on the um, mobile and desktop version. You can chat with us. Just, just over here. Be me. Yes, that chat line right there. And it'll most likely be me that it will be replying for, to you. But I think a lot of you guys are going to be having this issue. So I do want to just say it real quick. Um, with setting up your login, you're going to have to go on to either your mobile web browser or go search where the URL goes on your desktop at gonock.com. Do set up the 14 day trial. There you'll put in your information. It'll send you a verification email. When you go to your email to get that verification, manually search go knock into your inbox search bar and it should pop right up for you a lot of people aren't having that pop right up when they refresh their inbox but you're going to have to manually search it for you to get that and then once you get that verification you're able to finish setting your account up and then you'll be able to log in but not until you verified your email does that make sense Evo, let's find another house. I, I don't like getting hung up. Sure. Let's get it. Sure. So, okay. So, so let's do this house over here. We can skip trace it. So this house, the no skip tracing CX. The, the, so the mailbox is a, is a PO box here, the mailing address. Okay. It's over here. Couldn't find this one either. Oh, this property is already registered. Give me a second. Okay. If I was to go in here, give me a second here. Okay, I'm searching brand new properties. So if I go to, let me clear the search out here. And I'm just gonna filter again based on the actual vacants. So let's go down the list here. Let's find Larry. There's no uh, picture of this house here. Okay. Okay. We've got a bunch of phone numbers and a couple of emails that came up. All right. Can you see the foot the number? Yeah, 602 439 1269. 1269. Yeah, 1269. What's the lady's number? Uh, this is Larry. Making the phone right now. It's Larry, yeah. Well, that's so her number. Obviously we got the yep. Well, this is Larry. Hello, we'll phone right now. All right, so. Double dialed. It's obviously their number, though, so that's a good one. Okay. This one did not come back with any information. 
Let's go here. So we got Larry. Now we got a uh, who's there? Uh, Charles. Landry, I think Bryce asked a good question. Is there any limit to how many houses you can skip trace? There no, isn't any limit, all. is there, Evo? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Also, the um, the skip tracing, Janet, that's going to be depending on what um, plan that you're in. It costs like a certain amount of credits in each different in each plan, right, Evo? Right. It's a little bit different yeah. in each plan. Yeah, each plan is different, um, so the cost will vary on the plan. So, uh, Tino, here obviously we have a, a couple more numbers. So, six hundred two, okay, three seven three, six okay. four seven two, and the name is uh, Sterling. Hey, is this Sterling? Mm -hmm. Hey, Sterling. My name is Tino. I know this is a bit random, but I actually just drove by your property. I was wondering if you. Thank you. Gotcha. Okay. Tough crowd today, guys. We got the right phone number, though. Yeah, there you go. Real quick. So I'm gonna, yep, can you just go, go over? Um, some people are saying that. The vacants are not available in the forty-nine dollars a month. What are all all of those filters available in the base plan? Uh, not, so not all of them. There, so some, so the, everything will be available in the performance plan. Uh, but obviously, it depends on the plan. We're going to be adding a lot more data fields inside. We, we'll be adding things like unknown equity, uh, MLS data. You know, we'll be adding a lot more uh, data points. Uh, you know, things like, you know, tired landlords is just, you know, if people want to go at it. Right. Is there going to be more added to the base plan for people, more lists than what's available right now? Do you know? Not at the moment. Not okay. at the moment. Yeah. So uh, you can see this is a potential investor here. Uh, they've owned the property for five years. Obviously, it's a company owned, meaning it's owned by an LLC. And we'll see, the LLCs sometimes don't have a good information, but this one came back with a uh, good phone number. So, nice. Tino, do you want to call it? Yeah. 648 6793. 6793? Correct. Okay. And I don't know the name of the individual because it's uh, LLC owned. Please leave your message for. Okay, we can always, get some different always, problems. Always double dial, guys. Please leave your message for. Okay, so you guys can see. Uh, can you put that? You guys can see this property over here. Say that again. Can we put that question up from David Gallen? Tina, have you split tested your calls? So this, um, this is actually. Typically, we don't cold call, guys. Our VAs will do the cold calling. So we pull this kind of data, and then somebody hops on a dialer, and they're calling all day. Um, so I, you know, when I used to cold call for like six months, um, typically I would say, hey, this is pretty random. I know I'm reaching out to you about, you know, a property that everybody's reaching out to you about. But I'm just wondering if you're considering a cash offer or, or if you would ever consider a cash offer. So just want to answer that really quick. Yeah. And it's just go. It's just going through, just making those phone calls and just going through the numbers, and uh, you will find deals. Uh, obviously, like you know what Pay said, you know we're not just uh, blank, blankly targeting any you know properties. We are identifying either vacant, vacant properties. We can identify foreclosures. You guys saw the actual search when I search, um, and you know you're calling people that are in some type of a distress. Now, like you know, obviously, this person you want to try this guy, this person to call. This is the yeah. Google Street image going up. Uh, so 480-287-4460. What's his name? Uh, Jose. Jose. What's the address? It's over here on Monte Vista. Hey, is this Jose? Hey. Hola, Jose. Me llamo Tino. ¿Cómo, cómo estás? Muy bien, aquí descansando tantito. Bueno, bueno, es que 
Yo estaba manejando pa, por su propia edad en la, la 25, yo pienso. Ajá. Nomás quería saber si estás interesado en un, una oferta en, en efectivo. Pues, depende de cómo sería la oferta. Sí. ¿Cuánto quieren por la, por la casa? Mira, yo te voy a pedir 200, así como está. ¿200? Ajá. Ok, muy bueno. ¿Y um, ahorita está rentada o ustedes viven allí? Ah, no, se le tiene que hacer mucho arreglo. Oh, okay. Tiene que formar paredes, poner la plomería, electricidad y todo. Ok. ¿Es posible que nosotros podemos pasar para allá para ver qué está pasando adentro y luego podemos darte un, un número cuando estamos ahí? Oh, sí, claro. Ok, muy bueno. ¿Cu ¿Cuándo tienes tiempo para pa que nosotros pasamos? Eh, eh, el único día que puedo tener tiempo podría ser el sábado. Sábado. Ok, ¿a, a, qué, ¿a qué horas? Después de las 8 de la mañana, a la hora que sea. Ok, ¿como a las 7 siete, siete y media? Sí, 7 y media, 8, 9, 10, no importa. Ok, muy, muy bueno, pues uh, voy a pasar para allá como a las 7 y media y, y te voy allí. Ok, está bueno. Muchas gracias, José. Okay, bye. I got an appointment for 7.30 on Saturday. Awesome. Sweet. There you go. He said it's completely... So, guys, I'm not the best at Spanish, so I just got enough to get an appointment there. Um, but he said it needs a ton of work, and he doesn't want to do the work, so meet us there at 7.30 on Saturday. Tino! It, it was this property right here, right? Yeah. So watch out. What I'm going to do is just mark it as a hot lead, and you guys can see the actual icon changes here. And I have it stored in my database. Um, yeah. And obviously, at I can. ARV on top. Say that again? At the ARV on top? The ARV. The ARV. Hey, yep, you know, that's don't what show, the don't show that address too much. Somebody's going to get there before Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a hey, that's a good lead because he, he gave me the number that he wants or he's thinking. Up, oh, there you go. You're, you're the king of cold calling. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. That was good. You know, I have no idea what you said, but it uh, it was convincing. It sounded good. You were building rapport. You were asking questions. It was great. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Awesome. it. Uh, so obviously, in here, you know, I can do, just do you know appointment on was it Saturday? You said yes. 7.30 a.m. Okay. Well, anyway, so, so this note actually is going to carry with the, the property. And then you guys can see over here, like, there's just a lot of information that pops up. So, um, it, you know, I think, like, all of the phone numbers we actually made, the first one was the correct one, right, you know? I, yeah. Uh, the four or five phone numbers. So you guys can see the data is extremely accurate. You know, from here, let's see if, let's say the actual owner didn't answer or we couldn't identify a phone number for him. We can easily start the mail campaign, the direct mail campaign. Uh, meaning that he's going to receive, you know, postcards or letters from us, or I can just start an SMS campaign, and I'll walk you through it in a little bit. But before I do that, you guys can see here for the property, we have a bunch of property information. Uh, a lot of it is coming from the county, the assessed value, the property assessed value, the tax amount, the tax here, uh, sale and loan here, you guys can see. Um, and then I have some demographic data, which doesn't have anything for this person. Um, hey, hey, real so you quick. Guys, you know, Property. Um, I just want to answer this question real quick that Sergio asked. Said, so will you add expired listings, probate, evictions, and code violations? Are we going to be adding those or? So, so code violations is tricky because code violations. There's no national database for code violations, and just because we are a national, uh, obviously a, a, a pl platform, uh, most likely we're not going to be able to add code violations anytime in the future. Uh, but anything like uh, probates, MLS data. So you can say, hey, I want to do a So I'll just give you an example. With MLS data, you can say, hey, I want to do a search, um, but I want to exclude anything that's currently on, on the market. Let's say anything that's active or currently pending, or maybe even everything that anything that closed the past six months. Uh, those properties are probably not going to sell again. So you can eliminate them from your search criteria. So that's how you can use MLS data. We can have, you know, tired landlords, um, you know, unknown equity, like I mentioned, you name it. Um, we'll, we'll add it very soon. Awesome. And, and Tino, yeah, so the estimated value of the property is this one, 285, 242 is the estimated value. Perfect. 
Appreciate that. Now, yeah, and again, you know, AR, ARV is a little bit, um, it's going to be a little bit different number depending on some multiple factors. And we are, uh, I think somebody asked the question, uh, if we're going to have comps, comparables, we are going to have comparables within two weeks. Love it. So you guys can see this property. It looks vacant to me as well. So, um, so it's owned by another LLC here, World Trading 38. They're in Delaware here, or let's see here. You guys can see here. There's a lot of property information that I'm uh, that I'm getting. So the curve. I even have their interest rate, the estimated loan balance on this property. I have everything needed to make a decision if I want to pursue this property or not. So uh, as I was mentioning, I'm just currently clicking through uh, some properties here. As I was mentioning, so I think we called this person, right? They didn't answer. I think so. Was that the LLC? Yeah, I think that was the first LLC that we called. See yeah. this property? It's a vacant property here. You guys, you want to call this one? Yeah. Oh, we already have the phone number. I guess we skip traces here. I'm not sure if we called this one, to be honest. So I don't think we did. Let's, let's just uh, the phone number is 602-526-1289. Okay. 528-1289? Uh, it's 602-526-1289. Thank you. The name? Or it's LLC, right? Or I can't Benjamin. see on my end for some reason. I can't. It's like super blurry. Double down. Yep. Yeah. 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 Okay, so nobody's answering. But anyways, you guys can see here, though, something really cool. So the estimated loan balance. So I actually, you know, obviously through a lot of county records and uh, depending on the things like the interest rate and the maturity date, we know what their estimated loan balance currently is on this property, which is very useful when you're calling, obviously, you know, cold calling or uh, when you're talking to somebody to know what they're currently potentially owing. I mean, the number could vary, uh, but this is a very accurate estimation. Real quick, Evo, could you go into, and we could probably go back to it later on, but just show them the SMS campaign. We have Reg here asking, can you do text with this system? Absolutely. SMS yep. campaigns. So, so, I can initiate, so I can initiate the texting campaign when I, uh, from when I click first on the property. Uh, so if I go, on, go in here, this property is added. So, this, so I can do a... Um, SMS campaign. Now, I, this is a test account, and I also don't know if I have any preset templates. Probably I do not. Let me see here. Yep, I do have some. So um, I'll, I'll kind of walk you through it. So if I do it here, test, let's say test campaign. I'm adding, so I'm using a template here that, I, that I've pre built, and I'll kind of walk you through the actual template. I can do a start date, let's say tomorrow. And I can select property. So now th this property should have been selected here. But anyways, I can select the property here, and I can also I can also filter based on my property statuses. So I can say, hey, I want to text message only my hot leads, only my warm leads. I can text message people that are uh, non-owner occupied or absentee owners type of thing. So and then everything based on my folders as well. So I can select the properties that I want, and then I can or I can obviously manually select them, and I can just add them to the campaign. So now there's three properties and I click save campaign. This is going to create an SMS campaign that you guys can see here. So this is, okay, let me just close this one out. Um, so this is a, a campaign that's gonna get triggered tomorrow based off of, I believe I selected this uh, campaign over here. So obviously this is a, just a test. Um, let me walk, close these things out. Um, so this is the vacant house. Day one, they're going to receive this message. 
day five, they're going to receive that message. I think, Landry, I think we set it up like we were testing some things with you. When we set this yeah, up. yeah. And you, can add, you can add more and more messages. So you can say, hey, day 15, they're going to receive, you know, hi. And I can do, obviously, merge their name. Are you, you know, still interested in selling? Question mark. And it's gonna, I, once I save the actual template, this is what, the, you know, the third message, that's what they're going to receive. Does this make sense? Yeah, that's awesome, Evo. Give me a second. Hold on a second. What is it? Ah. Yeah. Um, so the same is the same with the, the actual direct mail campaigns. So when I click on the mail campaign, I can, these are my templates here. I can initiate a, a brand new campaign in here. This is one of the test campaigns that we've done. I can select, pre-select one of these postcards. I can edit my signature. And when I'm selecting an actual template or actual yeah, mail template, I can say, hey, I want to create a new template. I'm going to do a postcard. I'll give it a name here. I will select from, let's say, either a letter or a postcard. And then I can just, so this is a preview of text. I can add my text here. And now if I click on this one, I can preview my postcard. And you guys see this is the text that I just added. So awesome. Benjamin yeah. says, so we'll be able to mass text, skip trace, direct mail, direct message, probate, vacant, pre-foreclosure, expired equity, tax defaults, cash buyers without seeing comps and making and driving route. That's right. Yep. So, so it's not going to be mass texting. So the texting is going to be based based off of a trigger. So like you saw, there, you can do a text like day one, day two, day three, day five, you know, day third if you wanted to, uh, by by basically adding the, adding the properties in here, and they're just going to go into a texting campaigns. So you can say, um, let's see here. So you guys can see though. So uh, as Space was saying, so if if you can do a driving route. And I can attempt to, let's say, do a driving route. So if I do, these are my driving routes. So if I'm driving, let's say, with, with, with tracking myself with the phone, I can then later see, and obviously I'm doing this from a computer, um, I can later come and see all of my driving history. Hey, you know, let's say the past 30 days or the past seven days, I've driven X amount of miles and I've added X amount of properties to my, um, to my driving routes. And then once I go into my properties here, again, I can... Um, I can edit my properties and I can say, so these three properties or, you know, all of the, the properties, if I want to, I can select all, if I want to, there are 65 properties in here. And then once I click edit, I can skip trace them. I can start a mailing campaign. I can start an SMS campaign or, or obviously delete or cancel my selection. Um, so you guys can, there's a lot of flexibility, what you can do in pace was saying, you know, we're able to identify all of the pre foreclosures, the vacant properties, you can create a driving route based on them. And then in the meantime, when you're driving, you can, you know, look for vacant houses, maybe boarded up like type of boarded up windows or tall grasses or whatever else you, you guys, um, you know, any, any other way you guys can identify distressed properties. If I'm driving, all I'm going to do is just click on the property. I can see uh, the actual information that comes back. So the, the owner is Tammy Grimes. And again, this works nationwide. I'm just doing this in Phoenix, close to where actually I am right now. And you can see here the last sale date is 2016, the square feet, the sales price, if, if it exists from the county, and then the estimated equity. I can add this property and I can, I can say, hey, this is maybe a, um, a lead that I'm, it's a currently a hot lead. And then I'll just add it to my, you know, test import folder. Um, and once I add it, again, I can skip trace it easily. And boom, I have the phone numbers. It's that easy. From here, I can add it to an SMS campaign, and I, or I can uh, create a, a mailer. Dude, that's amazing. Any other questions, Landry? You, you want to go over that? Yeah. You're, you're saying. Let's do. Um, what would you say for Sandra? She's saying I'm not finding properties in Minneapolis. Minneapolis. You say that has to do a lot with mostly filters when people are running into issues like that. What's your What's your zip code? Can Can she type in the zip code? I'll, I'll search it right now. Sandra, it's, it's, would it's you mind? Say yeah. that again, Evo. It's almost impossible not to for there not to be a, a property in, in their area because again, we we cover ninety nine percent of the whole country. We are yeah. using one of the national uh, data vendors, so mm -hmm. I mean, there potentially could be properties that we don't have, but it's I mean that's less than uh, 
0.01 percent probably. Sandra, if you're still on here, would you mind commenting your uh, zip code? Okay, she said five five one two two. Okay. Awesome. And you said this is where Minneapolis? Yeah. So here's ten properties. So here and again, I think I had. Uh, was it? What did I have? I think I had vacant. Uh, right? No. Okay. Foreclosure, no, foreclosure. foreclosure property selected. So this property I can tell you is in, in foreclosure, and this is the information. So again, you should be finding properties in any any place in the, in the country. Awesome. Let's um. You can answer. see here. You can see here. I just added this pre foreclosure, and I have the phone number. We could obviously call it and say, obviously, try to set an appointment or make an offer on it. Yeah, that's all. Um, let's see what Marini has commented. She said, I have a property that showed a loan balance from several years ago. The loan balance is actually quite higher, making it look like it has a lot more equity than it does. It also has an NED, which was started in November 2019, which also did not show up. I found it out on my own. So, so uh, we've obviously like uh, covered some of these questions as well in the past. Um, so, I, I don't want to get too technical because I can speak this for like half an hour if I need yeah. to. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> there are certain. Uh, so, if you are basically getting uh, information from your county, from your local county, the information may be, let's say, you know, five or ten percent more accurate than a national vendor. And again, we are utilizing one of the largest, actually the largest national vendors, and there's a couple of them uh, for this information. And the information is never gonna be 100% accurate. I can tell you that from like, so, uh, Landry, I think one of the first days that we were testing some uh, information, somebody said, hey, a property is actually, uh, or I think maybe this was on Bash, I'm not sure. Somebody said, hey, uh, I found a property. It said it's, um, I forgot what the actual thing is. So either it, it said that it's- no, I think it said it, the property has actually been sold. Um, your oh, information yeah. says it hasn't been sold, but Zillow says that the property closed, or it was vice yeah. versa, actually. Ours mm -hmm. said that the property closed, but then Zillow said that the property hadn't sold recently. So right. in this case, Zillow did not have the right, didn't have the right information because any any information you get, and you know, Landry, that we actually run through, our, we have a data scientist on staff. So mm -hmm. they, they check every single property and every single record. And, and again, we mm -hmm. are trying to be the best and um, we are going to try to identify any kind of discrepancies in data, but again, there will mm -hmm. always be something, uh, somewhere, um, again, this is, I'm talking about the whole country, obviously we're speaking about the whole country. Uh, so there are going to be some discrepancies in the data, regardless of who you go with. I can tell you, so I'll just tell you, I've, I've done a big study on nationwide pre foreclosures. Uh, I've taken everybody from, uh, even some, a lot of our competitors, uh, list stores, which is core logic, uh, first mm -hmm. American. Uh, which is like data tree, black knight data, um, Adam data, and I've compared all of them. And there's you know 80% of the properties match, and then there's 20% that are just uh, a vendor. One of the vendors has it, the other one doesn't, and vice versa. There's always a discrepancy in some of the data quality. Again, I yeah. don't want to go too much about this, but right. there eventually could always be something. And you know, like you know, things that you guys saw here. Um, let's say this one is. Let's see. The estimated loan balance ninety four thousand six ninety three. Again, this is that's why it says an estimated loan balance because what some of you know the national aggregators are doing is they're mm -hmm. basically combining this property sold on in two thousand fourteen. Um, it was um, in here was a subprime lender. Interest rate is three point forty five based on the maturity date. So they're estimating how much of the property has actually was paid off. Again, some of this information is private, but that's why we have an it's an estimation. Guys, that's right. a lot of information. Like at the end of the day, that's that's a lot of information. Um, really, it comes down to just making the calls and getting the info from them. So right. if you're if it, if they're if you're worried about like a five to ten percent error ratio, then maybe you should just make more calls. Yo, we've yep. got a question over here on the side. Is this is awesome? Is there a recording of this demo for later reference? Here's something I want to talk about. If you guys use, uh, if you guys go to gonock.com and you use the code squad up, what we're going to let you guys do is on Tuesdays, 10 30 AM in Arizona time pace. Me, this guy is going to be doing a weekly call for wholesale hotline members. 
who sign up for GoKnock.com. I'm going to go through best practices, how to talk to sellers, how to close sellers, how to comp properties, all that kind of stuff, utilizing this app. And then on Thursday, Landry is going to be doing more of a tutorial thing and showing tips and tricks and additional updates to the GoKnock app. So go to GoKnock.com and use the code SQUAD for squad up, which is our wholesale hotline um, mantra. By the way, look who we got. Mr. Muscles himself has popped in and uh, blessed us with his presence. Hey, hey, hey. No, I mean, Tino hit it right on the head, guys. I mean, this is all academic until you pick up the phone and you call people. It was that simple. And I kind of wanted to save this for the main show, but I'm just so excited that he mentioned that. I mean, that's what it is. People saw live here that Tino didn't take any, it didn't have any fear. He just called up a pre foreclosure and he has an appointment with this gentleman on Saturday. This is somebody that is going to lose their house to the bank if they don't either catch it up or sell the property or do something um, to prevent that. And Tino's reaching out. He understands that th this person has a problem that he can solve and he's going out and he's trying to solve it. It was that easy, guys. It's not... It's not some mythical thing. It's not some crazy um, process that you have to go through. What did he need? Name, address, phone number. That's what Evo gave him. That's what he implemented. That's the, the call that he made. And now he has an opportunity. Everybody watching this, almost 200 people do that every single day. Imagine if you did that for three hours a day, every day. You cannot... You It would be impossible to not be successful. Does everyone agree? You can't. You can't. What's hey, that? Evo. Look, look at it's brilliant. It's brilliant. Like, Evo, yeah. thank you so much for doing this demo. Tino, thank you so much for being a baller and getting on the phone with sellers. And thanks for having me. Making this thing work. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. We really appreciate you. We've got to turn the time over to Jamil Damji, Brent Daniels, and uh, Wholesale Hotline starting in about two minutes. So thank you guys for running the, the Wholesale Hotline warm-up show and showing people how to actually do this business. Not talk about it, but show people how to actually do it. We appreciate both of you guys so, so much. Thanks, guys. Awesome. See you guys. Bye, Evo. Bye, Tino. That was incredible. I mean, just absolutely incredible. It's crazy. A lot of people don't know that Arizona just got shut down again today. Again. Our office was shut down today. We were all scrambling around today, like running around. Pace, you're in Vegas. Jamil, you've got your office open, I guess, now. Uh, you, you, you would take all the precautions and you've yeah, got them all as checked of, out. 8 o'clock tonight, though, we're done. So we 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 check temperatures at the door. Typically, they're wearing a face diaper, but because it's the end of the world today, we're all just, we're all just like, you know, um, kissing cousins, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we've got an awesome show. This is Wholesale Hotline 19, guys. 19 <laughs> straight weeks you, without a break. Can, except our one break. We did take one break, uh, you know, yeah. for, um, uh, you know, out of, out of, uh, out of uh, solidarity. But, um, yeah, man, 19 weeks, guys. I, I couldn't be happier to be spending my Mondays with you, uh, you two, my two besties. Uh, and uh, this is going to be a good show. It's going to be an excellent show. I've got a couple uh, guys that are going to come on, ask some really great questions so that they can deep dive with both you guys. Um, but again, just starting out this show, remember guys, wholesaling is a simple business, right? Throw away the word wholesaling. What we do is we source real estate opportunities. To put it very simply, we find deals. We find deals and there's three parts to this business to be successful. That is lead generation, that is conversion, and that is exit strategy or disposition. I am in charge of talking about lead generation, Pace Morby is in charge of conversion, and Jamil Jam Damji is in charge of exit strategy. So uh, we're really excited to answer any questions that you guys have. You guys always come with really incredible questions that open up the conversation so that the next 90 minutes is as impactful but really as instructional as possible. We try not to educate. We try to give clear instruction so that you can implement. Do you guys mind if I start with one thing? Not at all. This is this is the Tom Kroll thing that was pounded into anybody that is a Rhino Tribe person. It is the three Ds that we have to watch out for when we start our business. It is doubt, disappointment, and distraction. 
Those three D's are what derail us from being successful in this business. Doubt, disappointment, and distraction. If we can conquer it and at least see when those are coming our way or sneaking into our brain, we're able to uh, be positive. We're able to gain energy. We're able to take action. Action is what destroys all doubt and worry. Action and gratitude. Action and gratitude. And that's what we're focused on here. And uh, excited to start the 19th episode of Wholesale Hotline. Let's kick it off. Pace Morby, talk to me. Yo, guys, check this out. I'm in Vegas because I I, I implement, luckily, I'm very uh, lucky to implement our mantra, which is squad up. I can go anywhere in the country with Jamil. Jamil and I have been traveling the country. We can go anywhere in the country. And because we've squatted up and we have friends in almost every state, same thing with Brent Daniels. I can use anybody's office that are my competitors. These guys are another com competitor in the Vegas market, and I can come in and hang out in the CEO's desk. I am sitting at Casey Ryan's desk here in Las Vegas, Nevada, because we choose to squat up and choose collaboration over competition. And it is amazing to feel like you have a home everywhere you go inside your competitor's office. Guys, the whole mantra of Wholesale Hotline is squatting up with each other, showing each other love, especially when times get tough during this whole COVID thing. You, like you guys talked about, things are locking up again in Arizona. What do you got to do? You got to squat up with each other. You got to do it virtually. You got to utilize driving for dollars, virtually driving for dollars, which is what Eva was just showing you. You got to be doing Zoom calls with each other in your local market, having accountability Zooms with each other. I promise you it will change your life. So guys, squat up in the comments. Squat up in the Facebook group. It will change your life. Love it. Awesome. Jamil, take it from there. Well, guys, I'm uh, I'm super pumped. You know, as usual, uh, this is uh, uh, my favorite part of the week, right? Monday is my favorite part of the week. Uh, and the reason for it is this. The questions that we are always asked, uh, they're on point, right? These are actual folks that are, that are, that are trying, whether they be – uh, taking imperfect action. They're taking action. And that's all we can ever ask for. All we ask is that you take the strategies that we talk about here, guys, and you put them to work, right? We don't charge anything for this show. Um, as you guys know, uh, we don't make anything on the show. The only thing that we ask is that you share this content with uh, folks like you who are looking uh, to either change their financial destinies or are getting into real estate investing. So do us all a favor, guys. It's the top of the hour right now. We're about to start getting into the questions. But before we do, it would be uh, really kind of you, if you would mind just sharing this on your personal Facebook page. Snap a picture of this. Share it to your Instagram stories. The more people who know about Wholesale Hotline, the more jazzed we get because, quite honestly, um, we get helpers high. I believe that Brent, uh, Pace, and myself are all addicts and we are all addicted to the rush of helping. And uh, so, guys, help us get our fix, please, and share this on your pages and let people know that Wholesale Hotline is where it's at. So with that said, guys. I'd like to jump into the first deal done for the day, by the way. Let's go. And it's, it's a deal that I am doing in Las Vegas, Nevada. I want to talk about squatting up. Okay, so um, in my sub two mentorship, I have a gentleman named Dylan Good, and we call him Dylan Good Feeling Good, um, <laughs> just because he got his first subject two deal uh, not too long ago. And guess what? He actually is an astro student as well. He's an astro flip student, and he utilized astro flipping and creative financing that he learned in our two mentorships to get the deal that I am personally buying from him here in Las Vegas, Nevada today. We cl we're closing escrow today. The deal came from another wholesaler. Dylan lives in West Virginia. He utilizes he utilized squatting up and astro flipping to get a lead from a seller who had no equity in an HOA that wouldn't allow VRBOs or any of those you know, short-term rentals. And so I told Dylan, I go, I would buy that deal all day long. Let me talk to your seller. So I convinced the seller to take, instead of $10,000 down, to take $0 down, like, let me take over his mortgage, and I am turning it into a corporate rental. And for anybody that doesn't know what a corporate rental is, there are companies out there that will do long-term leases to like Southwest, Delta, 
traveling nurse companies, doctor groups, all those types of companies that will sign a long-term lease with me with, with typically three to $500 a month over market value. So we took a wholesale deal by squatting up and converted it into a deal where multiple people got paid on a no equity deal. I'm telling you guys, if you are not squatting up with each other, you are missing out on opportunities. So squat up with my sub two students. They are learning creative financing at a high level. If you guys need help with deals that are too tight, reach out to sub two students that are in my free Facebook group of creative finance so you guys can get paid on deals that you might have to throw away in the trash if you don't understand creative financing. So deal closing today, $400 in cash flow, $0 out of my pocket. I traveled all the way to Vegas just to take a look at the property. And dude, I couldn't be happier in life than understanding how to do real estate. It is like the most liberating thing, wholesale, fixing and flipping, creative financing. I would never choose to do anything else with my life other than this. Love it. When do you leave for your trip, Pace? Uh, I left last Friday. Um, technically, I'm telling everybody I left last Friday so I can get some time. But uh, I uh, technically leave Wednesday morning to San Diego. And then Jamil and I link back up in Los Angeles. And we're going to be having a, uh, what is Lauren Hardy calling it? She is Coastal calling it. Coastal Collaboration in Newport, guys. Coastal, Coastal Collaboration in Newport on July 9th at 5 p.m. If you're interested, uh, let us know. We will send you a link to sign up. There's only, I think, 30 spots left uh, of the 50 that are available. And so um, if anyone is uh, is interested in signing up, we haven't even promoted it. We've it, These are the, the, the 20 that are already taken are just like whispers. So um, if you guys are going to be in Newport or if you're in Southern California, San Diego, Los Angeles or the uh, Inland Empire, uh, it's worth the drive. We're going to talk about collaborating. We're going to talk about strategies. We're going to talk about conversion uh, dispositions. We will even we'll even throw in some lead gen because Lauren Hardy is part of the wholesaling Inc family, and she's a great lead generator in virtual markets. So you will be well taken care of. Too bad we're not going to have you with us, Brent. You're hey, hey uh, Emil, who's invited to the who's invited to the coastal collaboration? Um, in terms of uh, presenters. No, no, just anybody. All of yeah. you. Everybody's invited. Everybody's invited. Everybody that's blocking this. Come. Okay, cool. Yeah, everyone's invited, but only 50 of you can come. Is there details that are going to be somewhere? We'll post yeah. it to the Wholesale Hotline. Yeah, the details will be posted in Wholesale Hotline. They'll be on my Instagram, Pace's Instagram, and Lauren Hardy's Instagram, guys. So make sure you check it out in the next day. Uh, if you're in Southern California, it's going to be worth it. Even if you're in Northern California or Central California, come on out. You know, it's it's worth the drive. Or Phoenix. It, it's Mikey free. Ray is a sub two student. Mikey, um, it is twenty five dollars. Oh, yeah. Twenty five bucks. It's twenty five bucks. bucks. That's it. It just covers it covers food. We're gonna have some food there, and it just covers the venue. It's right on the beach. I can't remember the name of the venue, but it's a pretty dope spot. Awesome. So, um, guys, let me ask you guys a couple of questions. Um, both Brent and Jamil. Let's talk about squatting up. What does that actually mean? What are some what are some tactical, real life things that I can do, no matter where I am in the country? What can I do to squat up? What are some real activities that I can do to squat up with the people? What? How should we be linking up and helping each other out? May I? Yes. So I've been finding that uh, as of late, the uh, members of the Wholesale Hotline Facebook group are really beginning to get active and talk to each other. Uh, so Facebook groups, guys, that'll be my first uh, response to that. Facebook groups are amazing venues for you to let people know who you are, to introduce yourself, to introduce to people what you are about, what market you're in, what your core competencies are, and what deficiencies you have. Look, it's important to get vulnerable, and it's important to be real about what you can bring to the table. If you can let people know what exactly you are able to provide and what exactly you need, you're, you're just giving everyone exactly the amount of information they need to connect with you, right? If you are uh, the male end of a plug and you need a receptacle, right? Then you, you need, you're looking for receptacles. So if you're a visionary and you need an integrator, you tell people, I need an integrator. If you're an integrator and you're looking for a visionary, um, then, then you tell people exactly what you're looking for. But remember guys, that this philosophy works. In fact, um, Squad Up is exactly how Pace and Cody Barton got together and that's one of the most uh, influential and meaningful partnerships I've seen get built. Um, you know, 
since since my partnership with uh, Josiah and Hunter and my sister. So uh, again, guys, Facebook groups, great place to let people know who you are and to squat up. Brent? Jamil, how did you find um, uh, Josiah and Hunter? I mean, yeah. I know that you were doing deals, but I mean, what was that? You know what I mean? Like, how yeah, did we, you we actually uh, weren't doing any deals together before we met. Uh, we met at a at a sandwich making party for homeless people, right? So uh, we were all we were all at at a at a mutual uh, associate's house who had gotten some folks together to make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches so we could hand them out the next day uh, at a park where homeless people tend to congregate. And in that time, when we were you know uh, making P PB and J sandwiches, which just so happens to be our little acronym here. We were making yeah. PB and J uh, 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 sandwiches, and uh, the rest is history. Awesome. Yeah, I think it's really important. I mean, especially, you know, I go back to I was doing this business myself. I had a business. Well, I'm sorry. I had a business partner, but we didn't we weren't part of any kind of coaching. It was kind of like just learning on the fly and kind of picking up things here and there at Sean Terry's meetup or maybe a RIA meeting that was always kind of like a pitch fest. Um, so I joined a group, you know, I joined Wholesaling Inc. I joined the Rhino Tribe for that. I wanted one community, two, I wanted to be around people that were doing more than me. So I wanted to squat up, you know, kind of get get past that, you know, that, um, you know, from it being just a hobby or like a side th hustle to being something that I was really serious and I was going to invest in. And that was really, that might sell, sound self-serving because we each have coaching programs, but it was the truth. I mean, it really was true. The mentorship brought me into a community of people that were really serious about this business and being around really serious people and squatting up with those people. I've got friends around the whole entire country that are part of the Rhino tribe um, simply because I joined that group and I participated and I just wanted to be as loud as I possibly could. I think that if you're getting loud, let me give you an example. How about Aaron Bevins, right? right. Aaron, Aaron Bevins literally started his own group, started going, started wholesaling 18 months ago, started building some momentum, but he's been loud and he's been giving value and he's been showing everybody the process that he's been going through in his wholesaling business. And he's been open and he's been vulnerable, but he's also been really contributing to other people. And I think that that has allowed him to get access to a lot of people that he wouldn't normally. Um, and those people are millionaires, multimillionaires. And because of that, if you hang out with multimillionaires, you will become a multi multi-millionaire. I am telling you, if that is your desire, if you choose to take the action and follow the path that they have, you will be a multi-millionaire 1,917 every day, guys, right? 1,917 people become millionaires every day. They hang out with each other. So um, what I would say is try to find somebody that you can add value to, that you can be vulnerable to, that you don't fake it till you make it, till you're literally just doing whatever you can to be in their world, and but to give them value, not just to be there to suck out all of their energy, all of their experience, all of their passion, but you want to add to them. You want to increase their life. Um, I think that that's the biggest thing. And there's a ton of different ways, but I would say um, once you're to that point, when you, when you have the financial means to invest in something that is like a mentorship or some program, it is a hundred percent worth it. It is uh 20 X my, my um, net worth. And it's something that I would suggest to anybody. So, yeah. Absolutely love it. Um, let's jump into a couple of questions on the side. Awesome. Okay. Number one, Rudy Estrada, sub, sub two student out there in LA. Rudy is always super helpful um, and uh, amazing in squatting up with other sub two members and Astro Flip students and TTP students out there in LA. So thank you, Rudy. Um, he says that the coastal collaboration is at the Pelican Courtyard in Newport Beach. That would be on July 7th, right, Jamil? Yes, sir. No, July 9th. 9th. Cool. Um, yeah. Here's a question. I actually, we don't see this that often. I need those two hats and a TTP shirt with tight sleeves. I can tell you those are not tight sleeves because I've put those shirts on. I wear them. <laughs> those are not tight sleeves, bro. He had, his arms are like the size of my thighs. Okay. D TTP actually lifts. Okay. There's a lot of people that talk about lifting. This dude lifts. Okay. So uh, Brent, how can yep. I get a TTP shirt? Jamil, how can I, I get a TTP shirt? I think you can actually get it at wholesalinginc.com, uh, the merch. There's a little merch drop down. You can get it there. Yeah. Love it. 
Yeah. And then anybody that's in the TTP, you know, you come to the office. That's my way of getting all you to come into the office. Rashad, I'm looking at you. I see you. You're about to come on, but coming into the office to get the TTP hat and gear and all that stuff, it's it's kind of my way of uh, luring you in besides meeting these great people. But, um, yeah. Jamil, do I have to do a deal with Keegley in order we to – absolutely do. Yeah, that's why they're a little bit uh, – they're a little rare. Uh, actually, they're not rare. There's a lot of folks that have done deals with us, and so a lot of people are running around with these Keegley hats. But if you ever see somebody um, wearing a Keegley hat, that means that we've done a deal together. And so uh, I'd love to give you a hat. Let's do a deal. You know awesome. what's funny is I'm up here in Vegas, and I'm at whole. So we, we, Bobby and I. So Bobby is our videographer. He does video work for all three of us. Amazing guy. We um, drive up here early this morning. Bobby's driving. We haven't eaten all day. We go to this house. We do some filming and you know construction walkthrough and all that kind of stuff. It's two o'clock in the afternoon. We're about to eat for the first time. We go into Whole Whole Foods, and I'm walking out, and this guy taps me on the shoulder, and he goes, "Are you Pace Morby?" And I go, yeah, I'm Pace. And he goes, oh, my gosh, can you let me know, is Keegley truly coming to Vegas? <laughs> and I'm like, you know I'm not an owner of Keegley, right? He goes, oh, no, no, I know. I just heard that Keegley's coming to, <laughs> to Vegas. So you guys are in Vegas now, right? We are. We have a franchise in Vegas. He's doing really well. Uh, I believe last month uh, he did he did about 10 deals uh, right, off the, right out the gate. And uh, the second in his, one third, in his first month, he did 10 deals. Yeah, and he's rounding out twenty on his second. My gosh! So if I'm if I'm in Vegas, if I'm in Atlanta, if I'm wherever in the country, how do I find out if there's a Keeley franchise close to me so I can have them help me dispo or have them help me verify numbers so I know when I'm negotiating with a seller that I'm negotiating the right price? Email Andrew at Keeley.com. Uh, I'm going to throw that in the comments. Is Andrew yep. at Keeley.com? Yeah, blow them up, send them pictures. Uh, no, you know, just just uh, <laughs> if you got a deal, if you have a deal anywhere in the country, actually, uh, email Andrew at Keegley dot uh, His his uh, he is actually uh, one of my one of my closest friends, somebody that I've known for many many years, and he works with with me here. Um, he's my right hand guy, and uh, he is looking at trying to help everybody. So Andrew's goal is to do a deal in every major city in the United States. And uh, he's, he's, he's almost, I mean, he's not almost there, but he's going to get there. I, I bet you he gets there within a year. So guys, yep. help Andrew out, help Andrew reach his goal. He wants to do a deal in every major city in the United States, and it's going to happen with you. Yep. Um, Brent, so yep. I know you guys have a couple of guests. Yep. Right. We've got Rashad and we've got yep. a gentleman named Kevin that you guys are both going to have come in. Yep. Here's, what, here's what I'd like to do. I'd like to ask two questions, ask two more questions from the comments on the side, bring in some guests that you guys have invited for the day. Um, but I want to find out how can I be a guest on the show? How I'm, I'm, you guys are primarily the ones that are inviting people on the show. I want to know how can other people get to be a guest on Wholesale Hotline? Be loud. Yes. <laughs> I mean, honestly, if you have a really good question, you want to be uh, jump on here, just uh, send us a message. I mean, I know uh, Jamil gets um, uh, DMs on his Instagram a ton. Pace, you get a ton. Uh, might be a little bit too much for Pace to uh, to see him, but uh, maybe one will uh, sneak through and then uh, DM me. You know, Instagram is a great way. But, you know, I like bringing on my TTP uh, family members, because one, they're doing a lot of work. And two, I'd love to for them to get your guys' perspective as well, not just my own, um, which is a big advantage. So I post to the group and I just see who wants to ask uh, a question and we rock and roll. Jamil, what about you? How are you inviting guests? Uh, same way Brent is. If you're if you're really loud and uh, and we communicate, I'll bring you on. Honestly, I, I, uh, I really just love people that are interactive. Uh, guys that I can see are, are trying. In fact, um, Kevin, who's going to be coming on the show today, we've uh, worked on multiple deals together. He's a wholesaler out of LA and uh, guy's crushing it, right? So this is uh, somebody who, I, and again, I don't want to steal his thunder, so I don't want to tell you any of his accolades, but really um, fantastic person, reached out to me via social media. We've been working together. He works closely with Andrew on my team. We're uh, working on a, on, a, on a duplex right now in San Bernardino. Uh, that's a fantastic deal, but um, yeah, that's uh, that's how I've been bringing people on. Is just if you're super loud and you interact and you want to be on the show, reach out. Uh, this, you know, 
you, you don't need to do 100 jumping jacks and, you know, touch your toes 10 times or, or you know, anything weird like that. I really just want to see um, – See you be you know in the in the biz. Try. Okay. Try. So, um, let's ask a couple questions, and then we're going to jump into your guys' guests that you invited for the day. Terrence Lee, I think uh, TTP. Since you're lead gen, you're more the upfront conversation, um, talking about the systems on the phone. Let's have you answer this question that Terrence Lee, uh, Lee just asked. Yeah, I think if you talk to any kind of telecommunications attorney, they would say to scrub it on the DNC list, list at dnc.com. Uh, some people do, some people don't. Um, if you do run into this, even if you did um, um, filter it through it, uh, Terrence, just say, I am so sorry, I will remove you immediately. And literally remove them immediately, whether that's from a piece of paper that you have their their number written down on, or if you're using a dialer, most times uh, you can press DNC and it'll it'll prevent you from ever uploading that person's name, address, phone number again, which is a huge advantage um, when you're using a dialer. So um, yeah, I mean, can I answer? The, so his, I think his main thing. This comes up all the time is that people worry about, let's say you get a text message or somebody says, I'm going to call my attorney or I'm going to report you or I'm going to, guys, you got to remember when somebody says they're going to report you and they're going to sue you, it actually costs them money to follow through with that. So it, a lot of those, 99.9% .9 of those are going to be vacant or empty threats. So don't overstress about it. It's just part of the business. It happens probably once or twice a day to, for our team. It's not a big deal. You just remove them from the list and move on, right? That's part of the game. Um, don't overly stress about it. The um, people say, oh, well, there's people getting sued and all these issues happening. And I say, look, I know a few people that have received letters from um, potential litigation, but nobody I know has actually had um, really any follow through with any of this stuff. So don't overthink about it. Don't worry about it. Um, if anybody has actually had a lawsuit, I would love to talk to them. I would love to bring them on the show and have a conversation about it, but it's very rare. I've got, uh, I've never been sued, but a, a, a friend, a mutual friend of ours um, has uh, uh, been served a couple of times. And typically what ends up happening is these never go to court. These never go to trial, right? Uh, these are shakedowns. So when, what happens is attorneys will write you a letter and then they negotiate some kind of a, of a, of a fee if you broke the law. Um, but guys, don't break the law. If you use TCPA compliant software, uh, like like the batch lead system, uh, that's compliant. You're not breaking the law. You're okay. Uh, if you're scrubbing, you know, the litigator scrub, when you get a list, do that. Like do the, do the little bit of work that you can do to make sure that you protect yourself. And then if you do end up getting somebody litigious that gives you trouble, I mean, you settle with them for a couple of grand. It's a cost of doing business. But, you know, this business uh, returns money well beyond that. So you should be absolutely okay. Love yeah. I saw, I saw an infomercial guys, um, that was late night and it's literally like people just showing checks after checks after checks of, Hey, are you getting, are you getting calls that are unwanted? Are you on the do not call list? Cause you know, uh, there's people selling programs on how to send letters to you and, uh, and, and try to shake you down. Like you said, yeah, there wow. is. Wow. Yeah. So uh, it happens. Here's sometimes. another good question. Another yeah. good question. Nathan Rose asks just a quick question. What are the best markets to appeal towards as a newer wholesaler for cold calling? Unknown equity, probate, et cetera. What would you suggest? Let me answer that really quick. Brent Daniels is going to be the, the best answer on this, just so you know. But my feeling is um, the best list that you can ever pull is the one that you are actually going to call. <laughs> Um, outside of that, assuming you're going to call, Brent, where are most of your students having the success right now? Well, they're having success around the whole country, but I would say that you're going to get a lot of traction sooner in your B-sized market. So I would say right around that 700 to about a million two in population, okay? There's just not as much uh, marketing efforts in those markets. Uh, there's less buyers Sometimes it depends on where. Um, so it, it just doesn't matter. It's where you're going to be successful. It's don't wait around to pick a market. What I would say is if you're if you're considering different markets, Nathan, I think it was, uh, pick a thousand in your backyard, pick a thousand in a different market 
or maybe a thousand in two different markets. Test it out. See how chewed up the list is. See if people just hang up to, uh, instantly and say, oh, I don't want to sell my house. Boom, instantly. You're going to understand and get the flow of under. That's why I always suggest people to make calls themselves when they start out and don't just hire a Filipino cold caller to, to get on the phone and make calls because if you do it yourself, you will understand which lists are the best. And when you understand that, that's when you start building a pipeline of deals that are going to actually close and get you paid. Um, that's why I think, that's why I challenge everybody to a thousand contacts. You need to talk to a thousand people, a thousand strangers yourself, ask them if they would consider an offer in their property. Once you have done that, you guys know, Pace, Jamil, the you can talk to anybody about real estate. You can talk to anybody about anything after you've talked to a thousand people and asked them if they would consider an offer on your property. So I want that for everybody. Love it. So yep. you guys got some guests to bring on the show today. Rashad, let's get you on. Hold on real quick. Let me get you here. There he is. Uh, hey, Florida. How's it going? How's it going, guys? Uh, Jacksonville? Uh, Tampa. 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 Okay. Yeah, I appreciate you guys having me, man. You guys give out great information, great content, man, and I use it every day. So um, I have a question. So I have a deal. Um, it's locked up right now. It's in escrow. My buyer has already sent his earnest money in. The payoff came back today, and um, the seller, she actually lied about what the payoff was. So she told me that the payoff was around about 87,000. I locked it up for 90,000 and I, I turned it over to my cash buyer for 104. Um, but when the payoff came back today, she actually owes 123. Right. So I'm uh, I'm trying to figure out is there anything that I can do with the deal? ARV is around about 190 and it, it I think the property needs a, about around 40k worth of work. Pace, this is right up your alley, brother. 40K worth of work, ARV 190. She owes 120. Told him he, he uh, she owed 82. Um, so anyway, I don't think, one thing that you said at the beginning, Rashad, um, I think a lot of people, um, and I think you were just shortening the description. I think you know probably better. The seller probably didn't purposely lie to you. Just for everybody listening, I think Rashad knows that. I don't think the seller purposely lied to, to you. I think the seller just doesn't know, right? A lot of times sellers have no clue. So first and foremost, piece of advice for everybody that when you're doing a payoff or you, when you're, the title company does what is called a, sometimes a reinstatement if they're in foreclosure or a payoff, it is very common to have that number come back significantly higher than what the seller told you because the seller really doesn't know. So you're saying that the numbers are really tight because of that. Is that what you're saying, Rashad? Yeah, yeah, correct. What's your gut feel tell you got to do? I, it, the reason why it's hard because um, the rehab is so significant. It needs roofing, floors. It needs a lot. So the rehab is about 40, probably 45,000, depending on the rehabber that gets in. Okay. So I'm trying to figure out, is there something creative I can do with it? Because my, my mom first um, went to something creative because it, there wasn't enough equity in it for a fix and flip. So let's say that you lowered the purchase price about $10,000. If you lowered the purchase price about $10,000, would the numbers then work in that situation? Um, if, if I was to pay 84 instead of 94, mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah, it, it will work in that scenario, but she owes 123 on it. Oh, she owes 123. Okay. Yeah, she owes Sorry, 123. That you cut out on that. So here's a couple things that you can do. Um, I was going to suggest a novation agreement, but a novation agreement, I think, would even still be too tight here. So here's what a novation agreement is. Novation agreement is you go to the seller and you essentially partner on a fix and flip with the seller. Mm -hmm. What that does is it prevents you from having to go out and get hard money. It prevents you from having to give the seller cash up front. The seller then gets paid when you get paid on the back of the transaction after everything's renovated and you've listed the property, your buyer comes to the table and pays everybody in one fail swoop. That okay. typically saves about $10,000 in funding fees, doc fees, um, interest only payments, closing costs, et cetera. So it saves a tremendous amount of money to do a novation agreement, okay? But I don't think this is a novation agreement situation because it's still too tight. 
So my suggestion would be going back to the seller and saying, ouch, this is much higher than what we anticipated. Have you asked the seller? This is what I teach my students all the time. Have you asked the seller if they were open to terms? And if you did, the seller very frequently will say, what is terms? Have you gotten that far in the conversation, Rashad? Yeah, I, I've asked her if she, it, um, if she was open to terms. Um, just because when I first talked to her, I kind of laid out a couple of different options that we can go. So she's at a place where she wants to avoid the um, pre-foreclosure um, any at any cost. So she doesn't care about making anything on the on the deal. She just don't want uh, a pre-foreclosure to go on her record. So let's call so, her right now. Can I? Is there a way I can just talk to her right now? Um, let's see. I don't think she 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 texts only. So I got this lead from a text blast. And every time I call, I try to call her today to break the news to her. She wouldn't answer. So I had to text her. Let me see if she would answer. My look, look who's on here. <laughs> hey, beautiful. My oh my gosh, dude. Did you guys? I don't know if anybody saw my Instagram post this morning about my wife. I I won, dude. I won the fr I won life. I didn't win the lottery. I won life. I have the best life, and I have an amazing wife. She just, by the way, this is how you get to an inner. This is how you touch an um, a real estate investor's heart by saying pace can make a deal. Out of, out of anything. anything. That's the best compliment you could ever give me. I, thank you. Right, y'all. For I sure. I think he's flirting with you, Pace. Yeah. yeah she's trying to, we're, we're talking about uh, naming the Airstream the baby maker. So, you know, we're trying to make another baby. <laughs> Rashad, Rashad, what do we got, bro? I would love to talk to the seller. I, I'm, I'm about to see if, if, if we can get in touch with her now. Okay. So, um, you're in Tampa, right? Yes, sir. I'm in Tampa. This is what I want you to do, Rashad. I want you, who in my sub two family, because we get a lot of sub two uh, members watching this. Usually about a hundred of the watchers are sub two family members. We, By the way, guys, we've got about 300, uh, about 300 live viewers right now. So thank you for liking. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for sharing. Um, but Rashad, what I want to do is I want to squad you up with one of my sub two family members that can help you take this across the finish line in a creative manner. Okay, cool. Perfect. Okay, so that's the beautiful thing about being at your, are, are you a TTP member, Rashad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so what I've been, I've been, when I first met Brent, by the way, uh, Brent, let me see your, let's see your son. There he is. There he hey, is. <laughs> Tell him to say hello to say, How's it going? Uh, Andy's gone. <laughs> Andy's gone. <laughs> All right. He'll be uh, back. So when I first met Brent years ago, I, I, in the back of my mind, I said, one day I want to bring some value to the TTP family. And today is partly some value I want to bring back. My sub two family in Tampa would love to help you work this lead. And I might even have a couple students that would help you do it for free just so they can have access to more of your leads in the future and squad up together. Philando, Philando Merriweather is, 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 will link up with you. He's going to squad up with you, Rashad. So okay. uh, Philando, First, awesome. Philando, Philando has been a, an active real estate investor in the Detroit area for a very long time. He's one of the most active people in my sub two family. He is unbelievable. So reach out to Philando mm -hmm. Merriweather. He is a lovely, lovely human being. And he will absolutely help you out. I would love to talk to your seller for you. Okay. But what perfect. happens is outside of doing these live stream, my life gets crazy. And what I want to do is I want to let Philando, who has a little, just a little bit more time than I do, have Philando help you take this across the finish line and help you understand how to get this deal work uh, worked out. Cool, cool. That that definitely will work. Pace, um, will you give us a little bit, uh, just a little bit? What what are you looking for in that conversation? What are you hoping? Uh, you know, a question that you're going to ask, some kind of understand where this seller is feeling. Because I think a lot of people are like, oh, if he could do this live, this would be the greatest <laughs> call of all time, right? I would love to do that. Um, and usually every Monday in my mentorship, I make about three to five hours of calls for my students and lock deals up, which is actually why I'm here in Vegas, is one of my students, Dylan Good, brought a seller to me that wanted $10,000 down on a house that literally had zero equity. So Rashad, what's the ARV on that house? 190. Okay. What if I told you I teach my students how to pay 190 and still make a $10,000 assignment fee on a 190 house paying 190? 
That would be perfect. <laughs> That's why I'm here in Vegas. I taught my students how to do that. Not only did I teach them how to do it, I closed the seller for them through a Zoom call. And I would love to do the same thing for you. But unfortunately, you've only got a seller. The seller is probably not willing to get on the phone right now. But here's answering Brent's question. I would ask the seller, hey, look, unbeknownst to both of us, it looks like your payoff came back way higher. I'm either going to have to walk away from this deal but I, or we got to get creative and I would prefer to get creative on this deal because I don't want to abandon this um, whole entire deal. How can we uh, just take over your mortgage? And she's going to say who, what, when, how, what? And that's when you bring in somebody that's creative and you open up the dialogue and say, well, what we're going to do is we're going to stop the foreclosure process. We're going to pay for the arrears, but we're going to leave your mortgage in place, which gives us value by not having to go out and get a loan, Right. We don't have to go get a loan. We take over yours and everything's super simple. And she's the, she's the kind of seller that is like every creative finance investor's um, dream come true because she says, I don't want to have anything to do with the house. I'm ready to let it all go. Mm -hmm. But what's the value she's looking for is not monetary. The value she's looking for is I want you to stop my name from getting a foreclosure put on it. Correct, correct. Correct. Utilizing creative financing, my team and my students can do that with you. Philando will absolutely uh, show you how this is done and talk to your seller for you. So okay. connect with Philando. And what I would uh, really appreciate, bro, Rashad, mm -hmm. is if you record that conversation with uh, Philando and you take that recording and put it in the um, Wholesale Hotline Facebook group so everybody can hear what that conversation is like. Okay, I I I need to get um Falando's Facebook name. He's um, on, he's in the comments here. He's gonna reach out to you. Okay, uh, okay, yeah. perfect. Falando, will you reach out, uh, please? Make sure that you reach out. He is he is an absolute um, amazing human. He's a lovely man, and he's a deal junkie just like me. So he will absolutely get on the phone with your seller. He's very similar to me too, that he'll be on the phone with your seller for two hours and become their best friend. So cool. Um, I was beating, I was beating my head up today, like thinking, I can't let this deal go. How, how can I close it? So this was perfect timing for me. Thank you guys so much, man. Bro, that's what this Plotting is. For. Up. Yeah. This is what we're for. This is what we're doing. We're trying to change. You know, what's interesting is I'm here in Vegas and after I, after I say this, I'm going to shut up because I've been talking too much, <laughs> but I'm here in Vegas and I took a bunch of my sub two students out to lunch today. And we were, I was talking about, hey, how's this market? And everybody talked about how cutthroat it is and how they wished it wasn't so cutthroat. Our job, Brent Daniels, Jamil Damji, and myself, our job and our mission with Wholesale Hotline is to eliminate that crap that goes on in our industry and, and build community, build love, and build collaboration between each other. And um, I'm just freaking excited you gave uh, my team the opportunity definitely appreciate it man appreciate it thanks for coming and on Brent, Brent, I, have a big one. I have a big one coming i have a big one coming you got a massive future. deal coming yeah yeah yeah, yeah. what uh, so what do you have it locked up yeah I, i've already bought it i'm hoteling it oh <laughs> what are you gonna yeah. make 135 oh it's it's, it's, it's a life-changing deal oh my god <laughs> Hold so on. In the in the TTP family, we talk about a uh, 50k club. You're like tripling it. <laughs> man, man, it's a life God, to God be the glory, man. It's a life changing. For sure. Day, For sure. Can I, get a, I need about one hundred and thirty thousand dollar loan. Do you? Uh, can you spare that? Yeah, <laughs> with some good interest. <laughs> hey. it uh, yeah, I love it. Well, we'll do a podcast for sure. Yeah, definitely. I uh, thank yep. you guys so much, man. Thanks for the value. Appreciate sure. it. You're the man, brother. Thanks for coming thank on. You. So Pace, let me, let me just walk through this in my own mind, right? Cause you know me, I'm straightforward. Uh, I've been a realtor forever. I have been, uh, I do wholesale. I don't do a lot of creative stuff. Let me just piece, let, let me put it together in my mind, what you just said and see, and you tell me how far off I am. Okay. okay. So he has a conversation with her. She is open to do a subject too, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now he owns the property, but the, the loan is still on it. So he's responsible for this loan. It needs $40,000 worth of work. He doesn't want to put $40,000 in there, nor does he want to keep it as a rental because he wants to keep, he wants to stay focused, right? 
So he wants to focus on these big deals and his wholesaling, whatever. So does he then go to uh, uh, an investor that wants to add this property to their portfolio, has the means to fix up that property. Now that he, he maybe sells it to them for five or $10,000 that go to Rashad, the investor gets the deed to the property, they fix it up and now it's in their portfolio. So um, interesting conversation here. So first and foremost, she has a mortgage on the house she's behind on thirty or forty thousand dollars, right? So you have to take care of that first and foremost. And most people look at that and go, "I can't come up with that money." So what I teach, I don't think she's in pre foreclosure pace. I think she, she just didn't, she didn't know how much she owed. No, she's in foreclosure. Oh, okay. She, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. He, he thought so. This is what happened. So got it. My bad. She, yep. Yeah, yeah. He, she's in foreclosure. She's it up. 20, She's $25,000 basically behind, maybe $30,000 behind. It's close. Yeah. So what I teach people is how to, this is kind of a crazy thing that I've literally never spoken about on even my 16 hour live on my 25 hour live and nowhere in wholesale hotline. Have I ever spoken about this? This is a tactic that I teach my sub two students. What you do is you walk the seller through a process of getting a loan modification. The loan modification takes all of the arrears and puts them on the back of the loan. Once that loan modification is finished, now you can take over the house subject to. Okay, so that somebody literally just you see it. that guy flipping in the back. Who the hell? Who was that, bro? Oh man, I think we just sold a deal. Oh yeah. wow, I say so. <laughs> they do backflips in in Jamil's. Bro, home. are you kidding me? That no. was amazing. Yep. Who he's was wearing that? A, he's wearing a vest? Yeah, that was a Luke. Yeah, he. Uh... <laughs> all right, all right, go. Keep going. <laughs> okay, so step one, we do a loan modification and we do not ever, this is something I teach, I never ever allow the seller to do their own loan modification. We've learned that nine times out of 10, a loan modification fails because the seller, no offense to sellers in these situations, but they are like ostriches with their head in the sand. They don't want to deal with loans. They don't fill the paperwork out. They get the packet from the loan, the, the, the mortgage company and they never do it correctly. So we actually walk the seller through the loan modification. We get it done. We put all the payments on, on the back end, and now we have no catch up to make. Okay, well, that still leaves a $40,000 renovation. Yep. Okay. So number one, I dispel the myth that I have to come up with all the arrears. That's done. Okay. We just yep. figured that out. Number two, the myth that I have to dispel now is that you have to pay for, spend $40,000 on a house that you are either going to rent out or you're going to do something with $40,000 is probably a reason. I see where you're going. I see where you're going. Okay, our, average, our average deal that we spend money on that's rent ready or Airbnb ready or whatever it is, is $3,500. Now it sounds like this one needs more than $3,500, but it's nowhere near $40,000, not even close. So let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. When a typical real estate investor, non-creative, goes down to their local community bank and says, I'd like to buy this house on the MLS for $200,000. How much money down does that investor have to give that community bank in order to secure that loan? 20%. At least. At least. Okay. Friends, okay. Of, friends of ours, high level friends of ours are putting 35% down on loans nowadays. Yep. So let's just say it's 20%. Okay. And, and there's a limit to how many golden tickets you can have. And- the, the rate that you get from that local community bank is closer to a five and a half or a six and a half percent interest rate. Whereas I can take over this lady's loan for zero dollars out of my pocket. Her rate is probably somewhere around 3.5%. Mm -hmm. And I can, instead of putting $40,000 down on the house, I can put $10,000 into a renovation that I didn't even have to qualify for a loan or give anybody any other money. I didn't have to pull my credit. I didn't, I didn't have to pull tax. I could literally not pay taxes in 20 years. Not saying that you should do that, but you don't get tax verification. You don't get credit verification when you buy subject to, you just take over their mortgage. That's it. Mm -hmm. So you get into a deal. So they, he said that the purchase, the arrears add up to 123. The house is worth 190. Yep. Well, let me ask you a question. If I went to that same investor that mm. buys houses on a, goes down to the community bank, puts 20% down 40 grand. And I went to him and I said, Hey, I've got this property that needs probably 10 grand to get it rent ready. 
My purchase price is 123 and I have the funding in place. You don't have to qualify for a loan. You mm -hmm. don't have to cross collateralize. You don't have to be, and your rate is three and a half percent. What do you think that traditional um, buy and hold investor is going to want to do? Do you think he's going to want to buy something on the MLS or do you think he's going to want to buy something from you with, with um, uh, funding already secured? Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, and then he doesn't even have to come in with the full fix up if he is doing, uh, uh, what, what would you do? At least a rental, I would typically do it as a rental, a group home or something along those lines. Yep. And the thing is, um, Rashad is sitting there having a conversation like, okay, well, I don't want a rental. Well, great. Assign it to a buy and hold investor and make a $15,000 assignment fee for doing so. Jamil, how often do you see uh, creative financing deals come come to your table that you sell to your massive amount of buyers that want to buy and hold? More and more now every day. Um, we're, we're just closing one out next week uh, with Pace and all of the sub two army that he's building right now. Uh, we're, we're busy building our Kegley Creative uh, vertical out, which is basically nationwide buyers for subject to deals to be wholesale to. So um, guys, this is uh, this isn't going to end anytime soon. In fact, we're just getting started. So keep keep it up. You know, the, what is the, it? I, sorry, sorry, Jamil. Just what is is it? Are they smaller deals? Are they no, average the, average, deals? the average wholesale fee is around ten grand on a wholesale wholesaling a sub two deal. So from a dead lead, face just pieced it together. He put a straight line to ten grand. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Incredible. Absolutely. That's exactly what that is. It's it is the straight line, and you wholesale a subject to as just like you would any other contract. Right. You're wholesaling the contract. You're wholesaling the opportunity, right? The opportunity here, instead of a, it being a fix and flip, you're, the opportunity here is a cash flow rental, and you're wholesaling that opportunity. That's all we are. All we do is sell our position and opportunities, guys. That's what wholesaling is all about. And did you hear? TTP call equals $135,000. Wow. He said it, he said it perfectly. Rashad said it perfectly. That's life changing deal. Life changing there. money. Life changing life money. Life right changing there. deal. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Just absolutely incredible. Do you want to bring on your guest? Congratulations. Kevin, are you there? Here he is right here. Oh, let me bring him on. My man. How you doing, Kev? Good, good. How you guys doing? Great to see you. Great to see you. Welcome. Welcome. Tell everybody uh, where you're from, uh, how long you've been in the business, uh, how things are looking for you, what you have in the pipeline this month in, uh, in closings, and, uh, and and we'll start there. So uh, I'm in Los Angeles and Inland Empire only. I only look in those two counties, um, but I'm right lately I've been killing Inland Empire and uh, so I've been wholesaling for almost two years now. I started working with this other other wholesaler. He had me on a 30% split acquisitions. And I was just closing deal after deal after deal. And the biggest deal I did was like 70000 And I walked away with like 15000 16000 So I was like, okay, I have a daughter. I just had a second kid. So you, you guys know how it goes. So I branched out on my own. And I found Deal Machine. So I started driving for dollars. No one's doing that in our market. And I find about 200 properties a day. So I skip trace. I get like 2,000, 3,000 properties. I skip trace them with batch. And uh, I just cold call. And I've been averaging three, four, five deals every single month this year from doing that. And Kevin, what do you have in the pipeline to close this month? Right now, a little over 100,000. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hold Where on a second. Hey, listen, if you hate this bell, I'm going to bring it because, listen, this is energy, baby. We need to yeah. celebrate 100,000. <laughs> yeah. You guys, I just want to I just want to say we've had two guests on the show today and we're talking a combined total of near a quarter million dollars just between these two guys. Right. This business is real. The opportunity is bananas, guys, as Brent Daniels would call it. This is the game. And uh, Kevin, thank you so much for bringing that, uh, bringing that energy, bringing that story. You've got a question for us. We'd love to hear it. Real yeah, question. yeah, of how course. Are, so, Kevin, uh, how old are you? I just turned 25. 
<laughs> Come uh, on, man. Uh, yeah. Oh, where were we at 25? Holy cow. Just had my second son. He's 10 days old. He's at home. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. So um, I guess I'm a one-man band right now till this day. I've have been my whole time, the whole time. So um, what what would you say or what would you recommend for my first hire? I feel like acquisitions is like my strong point and I have fun. I enjoy closing deals, but I'm feeling at a point where like I have too many deals in escrow and I'm like trying to babysit all of them, you know? So um, I'm just looking for a first hire, but I don't know who to hire. Well, let's go to the guy that's hired like a hundred people. So uh, the reason why I, I put my finger up there was because, Kevin, I think um, you – right now it sounds to me like it's the transaction coordinating that's giving you the, the biggest headache. Yeah. Right? Calling and escrow, the, calling title, calling – you know. I would 1,000% hire uh, a, a real estate agent that is versed in transaction coordinating, and I would have them do uh, two-pronged work for you. I would have them do some lead generation for you while they're not doing transaction coordinating. You okay. will kill two birds with one stone there. You'll have somebody that's licensed that can actually get on the phone and, and make offers for you, make calls for you, run comps, do that. But they'll also understand the paperwork and the nuances that go with a transaction so they can run transaction coordinating and lead gen. I would say that's probably the most economical hire for you at this point. Yeah, no, that makes sense. I agree with that 1,000%. One of the biggest um, game changers in my life was when I brought my wife on, who was already a, an existing transaction coordinator. It took like 70% of the work I was doing as a one-man band off my plate. Coordinating with this. Uh, basically, what I wanted to do as an acquisition guy um, and business owner at the time was go lock up a contract, pay, pass the paperwork on to somebody else and literally have zero to do with it from that point forward. So I could go back and go lock up another contract, right? Because at the end of the day that we're, you're an acquisition company, right? Your job is to go acquire more deals. Then um, we got so busy, we ended up having two transaction coordinators and um, we ended up, my wife and I decided to have more babies. So I've slowly gotten my wife out of the business in that capacity. But one of the most important parts of our business is we pay our transaction coordinator not salaried. We pay them per file. So per one quality. of the things that scares people from hiring is, oh my gosh, am I ready for a salaried employee? You go, no, it's a per file transaction. You get paid just like anybody else. You eat what you kill in this, in this industry. So reach out. This is how I found my transaction coordinator that has turned out to be game changing my business. I literally went on Facebook and I said, hey guys, I'm looking to hire a transaction coordinator on a uh, case by case basis to help out where we need help. And um, I called one lady who was referred to me and that lady says, wow, you're too busy for me. And she referred me to Rochelle, who now is my full-time transaction coordinator. You just, you know how it is. You just got to make multiple calls. It's called uh, this little thing called TTP. You got a TTP, talk to people and you'll find the right person, bring them on and offload that because they literally handle everything from the contract being signed until the transaction closes, except for finding the buyer. But they'll coordinate with the buyer, make sure earnest money's there, coordinate with the title company, coordinate with the lender, coordinate with um, the payoff or the mortgage company. If there's a foreclosure, they'll halt the foreclosure. They'll talk to the trustee. Bro, they literally will change your life. Mm -hmm. no, no, yeah. I'm into that. And you can get them. I mean, you don't have to get somebody full time. You can get somebody that that is doing it for other people. The, typically, um, with a really good transaction coordinator, it was about three hundred and fifty dollars per closed transaction, and they can handle thousands. I mean, they're incredible. Their processes are just so um, not what we do, right? We should be out there uh, in front of sellers, working with them, solving their problems. They should be putting together the contracts, the paper, put it, sending everything, coordinating everything, making sure people are showing up. The other thing I would say is make sure that you have, Kevin, you have your title and escrow company dialed in. 
They need to be part. That's the first person on everybody. I don't care who's watching or listening. If you've never done a deal, your title and escrow officer or closing attorney is your number one first person on your team because they're going to run a lot of the issues out of your business because they're going to be so organized. Mm -hmm. um, so you need to sit down and make sure you have a conversation with them and say, what do you need from me so that we can make this as smooth as possible? And then bring that to your transaction coordinator and they're, they're now communicating and everything's going really smoothly. But I'll tell you, a really good escrow officer, closing attorney, closing attorney's assistant, whatever it is, is going to save a lot of time and a lot of heartache. Okay. Yep. I, I, I like that advice a lot. We I went and sat down with actually Brent Daniel. Uh, Brent, um, Jamil has a title company. I went and sat down with his title company who was doing my transactions. And I've, had, I've used Steve Trang's title company as well. And I actually sat down with them and told them I would appreciate them charging me a little bit more on my escrow fees to make sure that they took some additional things off my plate. I've yep. never once been that guy that asked a title company, how much are you charging? I asked them, are you giving me an investor rate? Awesome. Thank you so much. I would like to pay you more money to make sure that these things never come to my plate. And um, that title company, what's the name of your title company, Jamil? Magnus West Title. Magnus West Title. So Magnus West will charge me on my creative financing deals. They'll charge me like $50 more per transaction to handle certain things to make my life a little bit easier. Never, never, ever under, underestimate the power of a, an absolutely powerful title company. Yep. Okay. And what would you guys say um, per deal to pay the TC? Um, we, we pay our TC. So, so somebody told me a good fee to pay a, t a transaction coordinator is $250 a month. Yeah. $250 a, a file. Sure. I pay mine um, close to $400 a file. I paid $350. Yep. I, I'm, I'm the one that elected to pay her $400 a file. You know why? Because I never, ever want her to leave. I appreciate her so much. I appreciate her family. And I am concerned with how much money she's making. In fact, we have a Tuesday transactional meeting, uh, myself, Cody, and Rochelle. And she told me how much money she made last month. And I said, great, how do we double that? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure with your volume, she's killing it. She is killing it. And I want to make sure she's killing it even more. And everybody in my life, I want to double what they're doing every single year. Yep. Yeah. Dope, dope. And I have one question for Jamil. Yes. This physician came. Okay. So um, I find myself always going back and forth with buyers and uh, meeting at the house or the property different times. Like I want to get organized to where I can just set like one or two viewings and just have them all come out. But it's, it's like I've tried to do that, but they don't commit to it, you know, and I'll sell the deal and then they'll hit me up after like, hey, do you still have the deal? And I'm like, no, I told you about it, but you didn't, you know. So I want to get more organized with dispositions. Like I want to set up a viewing or two and um, just have them come in, you know, and hopefully the same day get offers and then that's it. But I feel like I, I kind of dragged that too long and it's because I'm doing everything myself, you know, and I'm still kind of new. So I'm learning. Yep. But I definitely want to get a better system for that. Well, what's happening, Kevin, is you're training your buyers to, to treat you loosey goosey. Right. Um, that's that's the facts. Every time we've ever had buyers uh, do that to us, it's because we've trained them to do that. Right. So if you've been if your buyers feel like um, the time that you give them is is a loose time or it's negotiable or that it can be another time or that they don't have to commit. That's 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 what they will do. Right. Because if they say to you, if you say to them, hey, uh, when do you want to see it tomorrow? And then tomorrow passes. And then the next day they're like, oh, what time? They, yep. they, they're basically, they're doing two things, right? They're trying to see if you've got any other buyers, right? They want to know if there's going to be an opportunity for them to, to get you down lower in the price. Um, and the second thing is the more that you show them that you, you, that you don't have other options, other opportunities, the more they're going to take advantage of that. And so, um, and that's just the game, right? Remember every dollar that a, a, a rehabber makes um, it, it actually, every, every, every dollar that you make comes out of their pocket. Right. And so, and they know that. And so, um, the thing that we've done and we've done really well is that we've trained our buyers to follow specific rules. And so what I would do is I think that, you know, how you can't really teach an old dog, new tricks. 
um, you you can you can teach your buyers to re, you can retrain them, but the way that you have to say it is that hey, listen, moving forward, I'm going to be scheduling my showings under the following process, and okay. then you just don't deviate from yeah, that process. You create the expectation ahead of time uh, so that they're aware, and you just say, listen, uh, with, I have a new baby. I have a family that I need to make sure that I have time for. And so moving forward in order to for me to give you the best service possible and for me to accommodate the uh, no, the huge volume of buyers that I have that want to see my inventory, I'm going to be doing two showings um, uh, on a property. And, the, and if it sells at the first one, uh, that's absolutely uh, the problem with you showing up at the second or, or leaving it for the second. So these, this is the process. If you want to opt in for the sh first showing, I need a confirmation. I need a confirmation right away. I can only have a certain number of people, and I already have three that have scheduled. So you've got to be the boss, right? And if you're the boss on that conversation, you set the expectation, you let them know the rules in which that they're expected to play, guess what? They'll play by your rules. Yeah. Guaranteed. That's, that's dope. I'm going to do that for sure. Love it, bro. Keep for going. Sure. Awesome. Congratulations on your baby. Congratulations on uh, all of your success, Kevin. You're doing, it, you're doing it right. You're doing it well. I love that you're a one-man band. Um, you're keeping it lean, and you're talking to people. You're selling your deals, bro. Uh, you're an inspiration to everybody that's watching, man. Best of luck. Thank you. Hey, um, Kevin, what's, your, what, what's the best way for people to reach out to you? Because you've got some questions in here from other new investors that your story is super inspiring for. So, You've got Murad Raha says, Kevin, what's your daily schedule like? And there's a handful of other really good questions in here. What's the best way for people to squat up with you? Is it to maybe you make a post in the Wholesale Hotline Facebook group and other people come in and comment underneath it? You guys can all squat up? We can do that. Please do that. If you don't mind, there's a lot of people that would love to connect with you. So go to the Wholesale Hotline Facebook group, make a post with your information and so people can come in there and follow you. Also, okay. guys, his uh, his Instagram handle is on uh, is on the uh, um, is under his name right now. So uh, it's 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 Kevin dot Is that how I pronounce it? Cascante, yeah. Cascante. Uh, it's Kevin dot uh, Make sure that you are absolutely following him on Instagram. That you are friended him on Facebook. That you guys connect with him. This guy is is going to be in our seat in the next few years, guys. He's uh, he's the real deal. He's getting it done, and we salute you, brother. Keep going. And Kevin, listen to me, young man. Get the book, Financial Matrix. Read that book and keep your money. Financial Matrix, Profit First. Those are your two books. Read, 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 read them. Highlight them. Go through it. Tag the pages, the whole thing. I am telling you, keep your money. Keep it rolling. It'll build momentum, build momentum, build momentum to the point where you're not even thinking about how much is coming in because yep. it's just consistent. So really yes, happy, yeah, for, happy for you. That, 25 years old. Incredible. We all take advice from Brent Daniels when it comes to uh, what, what to do with money. So uh, listen to what he's telling you. He's, he's uh, actually, that. You're the reason why I haven't hired anyone. Good. I'm just smart man. Keep smart. Everything. I think it's time. I think it's time. Yep. My dude. Yep. Good work, keep Kevin. doing what you're doing. You're being successful. You. Keep doing it. Thank you. And thank you, you guys, of course. You guys are really the reason why I'm wholesaling and able to do this. I learned from you guys for free. So thank you guys for all the value. Hey, you hey Kevin, I have a question for you. Whose arms yeah. are bigger, mine or TTPs? <laughs> uh, I got to go with TTPs. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, I love Thanks, it. Kevin. Um, Thank you, Kevin. So, uh, Brent, I got to thank you, by the way. I had uh, so Cody Barton, my partner, and I had a four hour session yesterday. Um, you know, I'm leaving for two months coming up and uh, visiting all the TTP students, the Astro students, real estate disruptor students, and the sub two students in 55 cities. Yep. So, Cody and I are sitting down having a meeting. And I would say two hours of our four hour meeting were based on books that you have recommended to me and my partners. And uh, I appreciate you tremendously, brother. Thank you so much. Profit First primarily was like the majority of our conversation last night. Yeah, I think it's so important. And, and I think we all recognize, I mean, we've been around a, a ton of really successful people that um, they don't end up bu building wealth, you know, because they just, 
I've got crazy. This is what this is what uh, quarantine back in Arizona does. You got kids smashing the door. But I mean, really, it's about uh, making sure that you pay off your debts, make sure that you're not putting your money towards interest, and making sure that you're building for your family, for yourselves, and for your future, and uh, and doing what you want with it. You know, obviously, I think that Tom Tom hit it. Tom Kroll hit it um, really, really um, perfectly when he said, you know, tithe taxes. And um, he said some, one other T, but you get those out of the way so that you're not worried about it later and just keep building. So, yeah. Love it. It's awesome. a way to do it. Uh, let's see here. So um, Eddie asked me, are you doing pace? Are you doing sub two deals in Los Angeles? So let me tell you why I'm going on this uh, tour is I, I'm one of these guys that I like to tell people how to do things, but more importantly, I'd like to show you how to do them in person. I'm just kind of old school like that. And so we're going into each individual market, showing people how to do things. I am personally not taking down um, any properties in Los Angeles, but I will show you how to take down properties in Los Angeles. And I know my students in Los Angeles are buying sub two. So if you have a tight deal, reach out to um, sub two uh, students. A lot of them are in the comments. So make a comment and just say, who's in Los Angeles that's a sub two student and you'll have three or four people pop up and uh, probably help you out. So Brent, you had a couple of people ask questions about those books. What were those books you just recommended and why did you recommend those books? Financial slavery. I, I mean, um, the financial matrix talks about financial slavery, essentially paying, working all the time to pay your interest. It's, it's like the matrix, right? We're in, a, we're in the matrix and it's just designed to keep you trapped in a certain uh, class. It's, it's, it's designed to keep you in a certain uh, income class. And, and if you know how to break out of it, if you make enough income to be able to, to pay off those debts and to not get into those debts, you have uh, freedom. You have the chance to be free and actually build wealth for you and your family. Um, second to that, the uh, Profit First book talks about your, your profit is not your income minus expenses equals your profit. It is all about your um, income. Your, <laughs> your income minus your profit should equal your expenses. Um, and so it is, I feel like that, that like newscaster that's kids come in from the side. Anyway, um, yeah, it's about, it's about setting your expenses based on how much profit you want to pull out of your business, right? So you, if your income is a hundred thousand and you want to net $90,000 a month, that means you can only have $10,000 worth of expenses. What are you going to do with that $10,000 to make sure that you make 90? That's a difference. It's not talking about, let me keep spending money, money, money building and getting offices and, 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 and all these th crazy things, you know, before it's too, before you're ready. I mean, Jamil, Jamil did a 4,000 deals before he went and got a big ass office. They were stuck in this little tiny office in, in Tempe until they burst out at the seams. So, I mean, it's all about being appropriate with your funds. It's about putting all that good stuff in. Um, you got to constantly be reading new things all the time that are going to inspire you and give you energy and give you new thoughts that you never thought that, that you never thought about before. And that's why you got to read at least 10 pages a day. If you think money is important, if you think financial independence is important, then read about financial independence. Mm -hmm. And those two books are a great place to start. They're kind of the foundation that I would push anybody to. Preach it, brother. Yep, absolutely. And I, again, we, I really appreciate, um, all of those books that you recommend and, um, let's see what questions we've got today, guys. Let's, a, let's answer some questions. And, um, this is all about squatting up. So let's, let me jump on the thing that I get people so pumped up about Jamil. I don't know if you can talk about this or not. I know there's like timelines with a lot of this stuff because you guys are franchising and there's all sorts of crazy laws and stuff that you can and cannot say. Are you allowed to talk about what's happening for you in Atlanta right now? Uh, I believe so. I'll find out from the attorney tomorrow morning if I'm not, <laughs> but uh, he watches me very carefully because I'm the if, one. If I'm in Atlanta and I need help verifying a deal number and I need help maybe selling a deal, who should I reach out to? to at Keegley. Do you guys either have local boots on the ground or do you have a franchise in Atlanta? I've got three people here asking about Atlanta um, between YouTube and Facebook groups. So absolutely. Right now, um, uh, I will say that uh, a franchise is in the works in Atlanta. I can say that 
Uh, I, I was, I, I, it popped up on my screen. I can see a franchise is in the works in Atlanta and that should, uh, uh, be finalized within the next seven days. And, uh, in the meantime, if you have a deal in Atlanta, if you need some help in Atlanta on anything, you can email Andrew at Keegley.com. Love that. Okay. So I want to answer this question and, and by the time Brent gets back, maybe he can answer this question as well. Jimmy Vash says, if you we're just getting started. Would you work for a wholesale company just so you can learn the process? I would say absolutely yes. So, um, and I'll give you a really good case study. Tino Luna, who you guys just saw on the show, Tino Luna came on Wholesale Hotline during the warm up show. And what he did is he utilized the Go Knock app today to call sellers and lock up appointments live. So that happened today. If you guys missed that, go back to the warm-up show and re-watch it. But Tino Luna is my head of acquisitions. And I told Tino um, on Saturday, Jamil, you saw me having this meeting in the batch office. I told Tino my goal for him by December is to be making $30,000 a month take home as an acquisition person inside of a wholesale company. Okay, right. So I look, I look at that and I say, Tino went and worked for another wholesaler here locally that um, was having a really hard time dispoing deals. So Tina was locking up deals, but they weren't dispoing properly. He, he did 10 contracts monetized on zero deals. He found me through Instagram, um, ended up meeting me at one of Steve Train meetups. I hired him. And over the last eight months, Tino has made more money in his life and has learned the real way to wholesale. So I would suggest if you have the ability Yes, go work for a wholesale company. Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely, absolutely. It takes a lot of the fear out. And if you don't have the budget, I would absolutely start there. Um, my team I know is hiring in Orlando. So if you guys are looking to be an acquisition person, we are hiring in Orlando. And in 30 days, I will be hiring one more acquisition person in Phoenix. If you guys want to take a look at what that looks like, we'd be happy to chat with you. Just DM me on Instagram. What is, what is your guys' thoughts on non-compete? Well, I, I this comes up a lot. I wanted to talk about that because if you are going to go work for a wholesale company, there's very likely going to be a non-compete. So what I would do, and a non-compete is is um, it's the way a wholesale company keeps you know keeps their trade secrets in in house, right? It uh, it it makes sense that a non-compete be in place. Uh, so what I would do, Jimmy, is if you are going to go work for a wholesale company, I'd let them know what your intentions are that you plan to go out and work on your own. Uh, that you want to learn the process and you and you'd like to work with them in that t in that time. Um, I wouldn't go in there under the guise of saying, "Hey, I want to work with you guys and uh, you know continue here until I learn everything and and then you know leave without them having a heads up that that's going to happen because you will get yourself into a non compete and you won't be able to 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 trade in real estate if you sign that. So um, so be careful, be upfront, be transparent. Look. Thomas Martinez, right? He was our top acquisitions guy here. Um, and, and, you know, he, he, he blossomed to the point where he needed to go out on his own. And if you're working with a good company, they will have a path to entrepreneurship for you and ask them about that. Say, what does it look like for me if I want to learn from you and then go out and do this on my own? How can I still maintain uh, a connection to you because you taught me the ropes? Um, how do I, how do I do that? And so that's exactly what we did with Thomas. Thomas is now our Vegas franchise and, uh, he's crushing it. He's living life uh, on his own terms. He's the business owner. Um, but he's still in the Keegley family and that's amazing. What up, Bo? How are you, buddy? It, it is absolutely amazing to be able to, I mean, that's the thing is you want to go work for a wholesale company I, I that has a value for you though. A bad doggy and, and, and a bad doggy is going to bait me. Don't touch him. Don't touch him. Don't touch the bad dogs. It's a life lesson. Ooh, 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 ooh. This is a great question for Brent Daniels. Brent, you, you think you, you and Bo can answer this question? Okay, we'll jump on that one in a second. So, um, Jamil, you want to jump on this one, brother? Absolutely. We dispo in Utah. Uh, if you need any help in Utah, please reach out to Andrew at Keegley.com. And we are absolutely uh, available to help you out. In fact, we will have a franchise in Utah closing very soon as well. So in the meantime, reach out to Andrew at Keegley.com. Uh, and, and once our franchise is up and running, you'll know who they are and you'll be able to work with them direct. Thank you. Um, 
I'm very, I'm very excited about your Utah franchise. Their personal, um, the people that are applying are people that I know. And I'm very excited about what happens. Up I'm there. so excited, brother. I had an opportunity to chat with them and uh, uh, real go-getters, real operators, uh, massive, massive, massive action takers. We're going to be in a, we're going to be in a good situation uh, with this, with this team. So I'm super excited. Super excited. I'm excited too. I'm part of my like nationwide tour is um, implementing stops in places that you guys have existing franchisees and spending a good amount of time with them on the creative stuff and, and hanging out with them and really, really pouring into them so that my students can dispo their deals through your franchisees. I, bro, I couldn't be more. I, I think I'm more excited about <laughs> your company than, than you are. Uh, you know, bro, uh, we're, we're, we're the same, man. You're my brother. So, uh, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Pace. Um, so, uh, TTP, I had a yep. really, really good question for you right yep. here. Do you want to read that out loud and answer it for us? Sean, in one sentence, what, what's your best advice for getting comfortable with cold calling? Let me put it, let me give you the secret of sauce. I'm telling you, well, we say it on here every single week, but this is the, this is the absolute truth, Sean. Uh, you need to get energy from making these calls and not let it drain you, okay? There's a lot of different ways to do this. You need to be excited about the opportunities that you have. You need to be excited about helping out your community. You have to be excited about the, the, the people that are going to yell at you and scream at you and be mad and reject you because you know that you are just one call, one conversation closer to somebody saying yes. We've had two guys on here today a quarter million dollars from cold calls from one, from two different calls. Like this is the most unbelievable. This thing, this right here can literally change your entire life, but it has to give you energy and not drain you. If you allow it to give you energy instead of drain you, you are unstoppable. You are a juggernaut, Sean. Let it give you energy. Stop you, you need to be standing. You need to have a smile on your face. You need to have the lights on. You need to have somebody there that is going to pump you up or get you excited that they're going to do it too or that they're going to participate and, and listen to these calls. Whatever it is, just bring energy to this. Don't let it drain you. You will be unstoppable. That's for anybody out there listening. So um, here, here's some practical, really, really practical advice um, in terms of what, the first question that I asked of the day to Brent Daniels and Jamil was, what is some practical squatting up advice? Okay. What I teach my sub two students and what I want to teach wholesale hotline, um, you know, watchers, viewers, supporters, um, we really appreciate you guys. You guys should be squatting up with each other in your localized markets and calling each other sellers for each other with each other. Okay. I would take my 10 worst leads garbage ones that I already know that are trash and have somebody else call them and do like a round round robin. Go get four of you guys together. Go to a title company's boardroom. Be six feet away from each other so you can you know get, be um, compliant and call each other sellers in front of each other or find an accountability group or a squad, which is what we're trying to encourage and watch how easy it really is. Once you get the first call done, the second call done, the third call done, you go, wow, if there was anything I've ever overthought in my life, it has definitely been calling sellers. Yep. That, that, that question is something that usually comes with people that have done less than five hours of cold calls. You know what I mean? Typically, because once you're, once you get into that rhythm, you understand this isn't scary. I mean, Tino did it right here live. I mean, he did it right there and he got an appointment. I mean, it wasn't anything. He got a name and an address and a phone number, made a call, got an appointment. I mean, that's what it's about. And if you talk to enough people, if you're using the right words, if your tone and your pacing is strong and you have um, some energy to you, you're going to win. You're going to win. And yes, is it tough in the beginning? Do you sit there in your living room and you're like, what the hell am I doing? I saw these guys in this hotline thing and they said to make calls and I see people on the YouTube <laughs> making calls, but I'm sitting here now just in front of my computer or in with, a, with, with some leads here and I'm just supposed to call them by myself in my living room. This is weird, <laughs> right? We're not designed for this. Yeah, that's exactly what you do. You just do it. 
you you have to be almost like a goldfish. Don't even think about anything. Just push the number and press go. Just press just just press call and put it to your ear and just see what happens. Do that enough times you're going to absolutely change your life. It is it's flawless. It's 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 universal. It is undefeated. If you have enough quality conversations with distressed property owners, you win. Or in Jamil's case, if you have enough quality conversations with people that represent these property owners, you win every single day of the week. You absolutely do. Yeah, I, I love that. It, that is such great advice. I can tell you whenever I'm talking to somebody who's struggling in their business, it comes to, down to that one thing. Are yep. you making the calls? Are you doing your outreach? Are you doing the follow-up? Are you doing the work? You're either doing the work or you're not. That's all it comes down to. I can tell you the worst closer in the world will get deals if they just do the work. Yep. I mean, that's, that's the truth, right? Because we've seen some some of the worst VAs you know, with, with very, 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 very hard to understand accents, lock up deals, like get things done. And you wonder how is that person even able to do that? But it's because it's literally just plugging through. They appreciate that job so much that it energizes them that when they get on the phone, they, they, they know that they have to get through a certain number of calls that they have to do their best for their client overseas. And, um, and that's exactly what it is, right? So uh, you've got to have that mentality. You've got to be hungry enough to want uh, to want for that, you got to be hungry enough to get energized to make those calls. And if you can put that in place, um, you know, and it, I, guys, remember, I, I, I'll, I'm a proponent for this and I'll tell it to you every single time. Take a deep breath for a couple of minutes before you start. You know, visualize yourself serving sellers, visualize yourself solving problems, then pick up the phone and dial. Come into it with the right heart with the right mentality and you will attract the right people to, to pick up the phone and talk. You ever been on that phone call where you're like, do I answer? Do I not answer? Do I answer? Do I not answer? And you know what makes you answer? The connection we have between human beings, right? Yeah. It's the connection we have between human beings and the time that I decline versus the time that I answer. I can't tell you what it is that makes me do it, but I'll tell you that if you give yourself the opportunity to visualize yourself in service, that more often than not, the people on the other end of that call will answer that phone call when you are there to help them. Check this out. This is really interesting. So Marlon Johnson, one of my sub two students from um, Long Island, um, came out to Phoenix last week. And Marlon, I don't know if anybody saw it on my Instagram. He's the guy that did the backflip at one of my fix and flips on my IG stories. Did anyway, back, like my dude did it, did a backflip. Not like, dude, not eighty-five flips in one second. That was insane. So this is what Marlon says to me. He goes, "Okay." He's like, "I finally got it. You guys are not looking for distressed properties. You're looking for people with distressed situations that need your help." I'm like, "Yeah, that's it. That's all this comes down to is we're not looking for houses. We're looking for people, and th we're looking for people that need our help and they need a solution to their problem." So. There's nothing to be afraid of. It's only excitement. Once you finally grasp that, once you see the fruits of call calling people and solving a problem, it becomes, oh my gosh, somebody needs our help today. Let's go make some money. And every, and every angry seller who's, who hangs up on you and is rude, that's them dealing with their own thing. It's not you. You know, that's not something you take personally. In fact, when you hang up, when they hang up the phone on you, bless them, wish them, pray for them, wish them a better time in life because they're suffering and carry on. Well, and they have the right. We're interrupting their life. We're literally okay. injecting ourselves into their life, trying to see if they have a problem that we can help solve. If Absolutely. they don't, then <laughs> they don't like it. They, they're like, why are you calling me? Stop calling, yeah. you know what I mean? And, and then you move on. But you're gonna find people that really need you. Yep. Um, couple, let's, let's jump into a couple questions here. We've only got about six minutes left on Wholesale Hotline, guys. Do us a favor, uh, guys, take the number one thing you learned today on Wholesale Hotline and go into the Facebook group and post it. I want, I, I want to learn what you guys are taking away from Wholesale Hotline so that we can cater to those types of things. Is it watching Tino make cold calls in the beginning in the warm-up show? Is it um, Brent flexing his tight arm sleeve shirts? What is the number one takeaway that you got from Wholesale Hotline? Please do us a favor. We don't want any anything from you guys. People say, what can we do to pay you back? The only thing you can do to pay us back is give us feedback on the show in Wholesale Hotline Facebook group. Please make a post. 
Let us know what your favorite thing is about the show so we can do a better job as your hosts um, on this show. So a couple questions. Um, I want to get into some specific, like three or four minutes about maybe polling lists and data and stuff like that. Facebook user says, what is a good data program for polling lists? Brent probably has a little bit more information than I do. Um, and he teaches more about this than I do. But I know that Batch Leads just came out with 2.0, mm -hmm. which is all about polling lists. Um, and also Batch Leads allows us to give you guys 500 free text messages. So go to batchleads.io forward slash squad. And inside the text messaging platform, you can also pull lists. Go back two weeks ago. Go back two wholesale hotlines ago and you will watch Annie Dragonova pulling lists on Batch Leads 2.0 for the Houston squad. Guys, absolutely happy to help you, but we showed you how to do it two weeks ago. So go back and watch that. That's about an hour of Annie Dragonova, the owner of Batch Leads, pulling lists utilizing batchleads.io. And in order for you guys to get to 500 te free text messages, use the code SQUAD. And the texting works. Pace, you were present over the weekend. We uh, we texted a campaign over the weekend, and in a matter of one hour on a small list, we were able to get three appointments. Crazy. It, was, it was crazy. I, I was watching you, um, and you pop out because I was in the little cafeteria in the TTP office, and you pop out and you go, yo, bro, I got three appointments. You want to go? I was like, I'm canceling everything. Let's roll. It was great. Amazing. It's amazing what happens when you, you know, are reaching out, you're being consistent. I mean, here's the thing. We talked about it last week. What's the best marketing channel? The one that you're going to commit to. <laughs> the one you right? do. The, the one, one that you you're going to commit to. But either way, you're going to have to get, you're going to, you're going to have to talk to somebody at some point. So get in the reps. And even if you have to practice it, even if you have to go through and practice your scripts, practice your uh, handling of objections, do that. Anything that you're afraid of, if you're afraid they're going to say, hey, you don't have a website. There's two or three responses to that that you can write down and practice for everything. Hey, how many houses do you buy a year? There is responses to that. Hey, how long have you been in the business? There are responses to that. There are objections in your mind right now that is preventing you from having conversations because you don't know how to overcome them. Don't wait until you're in front of the seller to practice them. Find somebody. Find. I mean, you could Google it. You could watch Pace's stuff. Pace goes through this stuff like a like a like a samurai sword. You know what I mean? Like there is two to three responses to any objection that you could possibly imagine. And listen, sellers are not coming up with new objections. They're all the same objections that have been happening since medieval times. So <laughs> practice those objection handlers so that you're feeling comfortable and confident and that you're going forward because you're uh, some people, and I used to do it myself. I'm telling you guys, honestly, I used to stop myself from going on these appointments or doing these, having these conversations because I was so worried that they were going to expose me. You know, it's all stuff that we make up in our head, but an objection is just a question in the, in the mind of a seller that hasn't been answered yet. So learn how to answer those questions and you're going to be powerful. Love it. Boom. Love, love it. You know what? I, I got to just going back to the squad up idea. I know we're at the end of the show. I need you guys to see Casey Ryan. Check him out. You guys see Casey Ryan over there? Brent, Brent and Jamil says hello. Hello. He's going to be in Phoenix next week. Steve, Steve, we got about 300 people watching. Hello. Hey. hey. Yo, guys, Casey Ryan. Are you guys hiring? Uh, always hiring. Always hiring. So if you guys are in Vegas, and you want to you want to work for a wholesaler that's doing a ton of deals. Casey does a lot of really good flips too. So if you guys want to learn real estate firsthand, I would squad up, come over to Casey Ryan's office here in Las Vegas. He is unbelievable. I needed a place to office and do wholesale hotline. And Casey was like, dude, roll through. So shout out Casey. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, but guys, this was an amazing show. Tino locked up an appointment right in the, the warm up show. I think we, um, your both your guys' guests, TTP. You have a freaking student making one hundred and thirty five thousand dollars. One call, dude. Uh, this was an unbelievable show. I, I have nothing more to say other than I appreciate both you guys, and I can't wait till next week. We love you, Pace. Guys, there was some unanswered questions and uh, today that I'm seeing pop up in the comments. Do us a favor and put those questions in the Facebook group. 
All right, we'll get in there. We will answer them. Others will answer them. It'll be a dialogue. So if you guys had a question that we couldn't get to today just because of time, do us a favor and paste, copy and paste that question. Put that into the uh, Facebook group, the Wholesale Hotline Facebook group, so that we can answer that after the fact. Uh, guys, I, I appreciate you both so much. Thank you, Brent. Thank you, Bo, for uh, for entertaining us and, and, and telling us about bad dogs. Thank yep. you, Pace and, and Casey, for giving Pace the space to do that today. I appreciate you guys very much. We love you very much. Let's and go. remember, everybody out there, if you are looking to, if this is your first time watching or, or listening to this, um, you can see you can see all of these episodes at Brent Daniels YouTube and Pace Morby YouTube, and also uh, on any. The, this is a podcast, so you can check it out on iTunes or Spotify Wholesale Hotline. You can't miss it. Uh, it's always great to go back and just listen to the audio and uh, as you're driving and keep it in there. So we love you guys. You guys are the absolute best. We want you to go out and absolutely um, get these deals and talk to people. So. Thank you, guys. See you next Monday. See you, guys.